Sometimes over next change and we talk about the next change of events. My name is Nate. Booby. No. Joni. Leon. Hey, it's been a minute, you know what I'm saying, but holidays, so we drag in action. I uh, just wanted to ask the fellas how they holidays were and how they've been feeling this past couple of weeks. Shit. Pretty good, honestly. Um, I could say, like, throughout this whole, like, corona shit, shit been a little weird. I even said this about, like, Thanksgiving and shit, but overall, you know, making it through, it's been pretty good, I will say. Um, it was, it was, it was, you said the past few weeks, it was, it was, it was tough. Um, you know, certain things transpired, but remember I told you? Yeah, 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 yeah. so, um, it was, it was tough, but, you know, it's a new year, so. I'm just happy about that part. You know, where we were going forward. Yeah, my shit was cool. Uh, um, I celebrated my, uh, my guy's son. First Christmas, he just been born. That's why, mm-hmm. like a couple of weeks. I got a goddaughter here, yeah, I got some. Mm. Um, see my moms, you know, uh, for the Christmas, New Year's. Pretty much spent it doly, but you know. Mm-hmm. Rag shit. Yeah, ain't, 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 ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. Corona fuck shit up, so. Yeah, yeah right. back. It's 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 hey, for me, um, as, as I said before, I'm not really big on holidays. Only thing that I miss this year is, you know, every year we do the um, little Christmas party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen. I think missed the end. Oh, dude. You? Bro, it was New Year's Eve and Christmas. I'm saying. But you know, like I said, that's the shit we do. New Year's Eve, yeah. chill at Rebecca Crib. Shout out to Rebecca. Uh, and Christmas day. <laughs> or Leon Craig. Basketball all day, four all day, bro. Drink. Yeah. But the games this year was ass. Mm-hmm. This year? That's yeah, fat. And we were actually watching. You did? I did. Really? All day? Yeah. Nah, it's been four games. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All day. I had a show on my house. I watched like three. What do you mean? We was online. You was. I had on. on I mean, I'd be on the PlayStation, but I had it on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> so I had all the games <laughs> running on my laptop. You said he was like this. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it was bad. Like, I would look at him like every like a chance I get up. Nah, she trash. I'm just keep mm-hmm. It was just muted, so yeah, I ain't hear it for But yeah, you know, like, like y'all said, it's a new day, new year, blessings, we made it. Or, I can't, um, honestly, you can't get nothing better than that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, my shit was calm. Spent the, spent all of pretty much alone. Gabby Cook for Christmas. And soup June for New Year's New Year's Day. What's good? Yo, with it? I've never had that. Bro, so it's, it's like a squash soup. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I've never had it. So so yeah, so I got I got a hit up from uh, a homegirl or whatever, and she told me, Oh, am I getting soup what's it called? Just soup June. And I'm like, what is that? She's like, What you mean your homie is Haitian? Shouts out to whoever watched Nelson. <laughs> My son Haitian, but right, right, right. <laughs> Right, but I'm like, what is that? Like, it's, it's, she was like, it's some, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a pumpkin squash pump, soup. It's a pumpkin squash soup that celebrates a what? Like a pumpkin squash soup. So that like, celebrates what? Like why you got uh, Hades, so every, like, Hades Independence Day. I celebrate Independence Day. So every year, every January first, I celebrate. At January first, um, so that's like the soup because that soup was what that's the only thing they ate during the time of the war. So that's your yeah, Independence Day. Yeah, January first, eighteen oh four. That's what's up. Well, I never knew anything about that. Yeah, I didn't know either. Yeah, yeah okay. we were the first island to rebel against the mm-hmm. French. We were the first to get our independence from. Look at you. Go ahead. <laughs> Six <laughs> a.m. <laughs> it's small. I do a lot of Haitian, bro. I actually know that. But All right, whatever. <laughs> Uncultured swan. Oh, oh my God. God. No, no, no. No, no. It was not cool. Floyd. It was cool. Wow. Damn. I'm not even oh, shot. That's good. Yeah. But yeah, it's not just cool. It's fat. This is fat. Just really looking oh, forward. Put my hand on. Just really looking forward to eight, uh, to eighteen. I'm really looking forward to. Um, <laughs> but why? <laughs> <laughs> like, why? Why? Don't make the joke about the man. What's the joke? His nah. do rag matches. Oh, yeah, I, I ain't like it. It don't really match though. It's like off. Oh. What you mean? Oh, what you mean? If anything, I like this match because it's great. Blue. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's great. Rather than Jack Blue, Blue. Ray is different from the green right on. Keep the buck. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Well, as far enough, in between, see, see, we good. It's all right. We don't, I'm going to be Let us know. Shit's great. That shit's great. You can keep, you can do either or because you know the gray don't got to match the exact gray because the contrast of navy blue. 
True. He's not the bottom. He is like this. Fire, fire. Yeah, so anyway, right? You, Thank you. Well, if you want to color block, you just take the guy off. <laughs> you had the independent soup and it was yeah. fire. Independent soup. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so what is this man? You know what I'm saying? Who's Haitian? It's just your man. It's okay. You had the soup. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you want to have It's just really, um... I feel like we all kind of looking forward to 20, uh, 2021. I feel like we jumped with a lot in 2020. You fucked up to 2020 again. I said 2021. Proceed, proceed. Yes. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, like, yeah, you know, we just do better, move better. For more goals, you know, financials, whatever you want to do, focus on that type shit. Um, we really, uh, so we had our last episode, we kind of touched base on, uh, uh, a couple of things like insecurities and um, toxic masculinity, but we didn't really go into depth. Uh, so this episode, that's what that's what's going to be mainly be going on because we only gave it like what a teaser, and then we kind of went off tangent yeah. as we usually do. Um, so I wanted to ask you because I was talking, um, I was talking to Angie about you know, like she's asking me questions about like how, how like why I do the certain things I do. You know what I'm saying? And, like the front like, what? Like how I handle like certain like certain things when we, uh, we come across like okay like she says like I have she felt she feels like I have an insecurity issue you know what I'm saying and I'm like that's what what so for instance like nah so for instance like she feels like I don't there's one time she said she feels like I don't trust her enough type of shit I was like I don't think that's true you know what I'm saying I've done I've had issues you know what I'm saying where with other people that I've had to that I couldn't be vulnerable and like tell them certain shit, but I won't say I have trust issues entirely. But the concept was basically, of course I was asked guys what she asked me is like, um, how, like, what what insecurities did you have or do you have? And how do you overcome them or how I become the past ones? I will start off with just what insecurities do you have? What insecurities do you have or how do you overcome the past ones? Well, I mean, I, I can start off. I can say, um, for me personally, like one of my insecurities, it's a physical trait, which is like, which y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all know this, like the bumps on my neck. Um, I never fucking know. Are you? Are you? <laughs> nah, nah, y'all not get that. Y'all not get that. Bro. I was like, nah. That's- <laughs> But um, <laughs> imagine he was dead ass. Nah, that'd be crazy. But um, yeah, that's the insecurity I had. Um, it's actually something that I've had, like, cause it runs in my family. <laughs> it runs in my family, you know. And it's like when it started to appear. It was, I think it was like in college, freshman year of college. That's when it actually started to appear. Um, at first, I didn't really know what it was until like my family pointed it out. It was like, oh, you got the same bumps as your father, or like your aunt has those two and everything. Um, but it's a family trait, but it's like to overcome it or like to like kind of side and have peace with it. It's just trying to accept it, you know. It's just this is how I am, you know. I can't really sit there and think about it so much. I feel like, but what is it like? I kind of look at pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even there's some pictures where I like I thought about like editing it out, but it's just like you know it's me. You know I can't do nothing about it. All right, but do you, do they say what it is? Or just you just had some kind of Yeah, so. My family doesn't know exactly. I went to the dermatologist for it. I got the name for it, but it's completely benign, like so it's not anything mm-hmm. crazy bad. But um, I forgot. I forgot the name of it though. It's like something like vesicular something is what it's called, but mm-hmm. it's completely benign. So I ain't really tripping over it. It's just something physically I just you know think about yeah. every now and then. But you would <laughs> eat. For me, the uh, insecurities, I'd, I'd say probably like my eyes. Mm. You know, ain't no secret that my shit's big, so. This is a nice fish, you know? Big fucking eyes, but a nice fucking fish. But that was, I've been in, like, overcame that. No poor thing to come inside. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> But like that, like I, I have been kind of came, became over that mm. when I was like high school vibes. Mm. And then I talked to you on my glasses off, and I seen the reaction I get 
from it, but I never really liked my eyes. I just, I just felt like it was too big. Like, mm-hmm. I can see through a nigga. That's what people tell me. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I was thinking that in the bar. Yeah, yeah, I see doing that to the future type shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten that too from a lot of women, right? So, yeah, so when the ladies would tell me that, I was like, all right, it's already. Like, I ain't really. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've gotten that too. They yeah. sure told me that too, and I was just like, huh, me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So once, once, <laughs> once the ladies lo- like it, bro, you notice yeah. that they like it? It's really, I don't give a fuck really what, you, what you think. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Trying, I'm trying to fuck with Shorty over here, not. She told me she got, I got nice eyes. So if a dude told you, you got nice eyes. Like, well, I just depends on who the dude is. I right. just told you you got nice eyes, you ain't saying nothing to me. Yeah, because I'm telling you, he don't got nothing to gain from us. So. <laughs> he don't, but you know what I'm saying? It's cool, you're my man. So if you can tell me that, I appreciate you, bro. I like your hair today. You know what I'm saying? I see the twist. I love it. You feel me? Appreciate you. Yeah, the twist. I put a bar. Besides that, I ain't really nothing. I ain't really throw about myself. But I ain't really just that. But when you say insecurity, though, I, I feel like involving in the relationship. Like, oh, I don't trust this. Nah, it could be. It could be anything. Really, like, the movie touched base on like his own person, yeah. his own personal. Like, it was just the fact that it can't. Like, how the question came up was because of the fact that we were talking about relationship insecurities, mm-hmm. and it made me think about other sense shit. Because I don't take compliments well. You feel me? I never. T- I don't take it. Y'all, I ain't hold y'all. Y'all be like, yo, this is nice. I'm like. I just continue going on with whatever we're talking about before. Mm-hmm. Like, I used to do that a lot before. So I, w- I would say, I don't really believe people. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's to me, but like, why, wow, right? Because, like, I, like, I, I go through dealing with what I'm dealing with, and it would say, like, a, say the most to, to just try to get me to blah, blah, but at the end of the day, they ain't not doing it. I don't really believe what people say to me. I believe what they do. But what they do mean up a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if I recently meet a show, that probably, that's already in my mind. So you could tell me you fuck with me, blah, blah, blah. But if I don't see it, you're never going to get that feeling from me really fucking with you. Mm-hmm. It's just impossible. Like, I don't give a fuck what you say. If you put that as insecurity, I guess, but. Or like a hamper in a in yeah, that, that would yeah. Something like make stuff. shit not progress. Yeah. But I feel like if you if you if if a, if a shorty really dig you whatever case may be, bro, you won't second guess if she fuck with you. So after mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That's how I feel. No. Um. Oh uh, shit! I was trying to think. Um. Insecurity. Listen, I'm perfect. No, <laughs> I'm perfect self. <laughs> nah, 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 hell no. But um, okay. I'm, just, I'm just trying to think, bro. So, uh, she, um, uh, insecurity. <laughs> nah, nah, one of the most like I won't say basic, but one of the um ones I dealt with for for a minute was my body, as far as being tall because I wasn't always super tall but like you know when you start to grow and like really grow in a short amount of time it's the shit with like my posture or like being clumsy like bad footwork shit like that mm-hmm. so you know the, you know the whole tall and doofy tall for no reasons I ain't played ball till I don't know when I didn't start playing basketball till like my junior senior year of high school to be real so you always get that little joke of oh, you talk for nothing or you know like oh if I was your height I'd be in the NBA all that bullshit mm-hmm. and then um, I had terrible posture going through middle school high school so that already coupled with like the T well you get T's and whatnot you know your bo- your mind has a way of like encroaching on your body in a sense. So it's just like, if I already have bad posture, all the negativity is not gonna make me really wanna stand tall, chest out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it took me a minute to actually get towards, get to a point where I actually was comfortable with myself, like in my skin, so to speak. Um, what else? Oh, college. Uh, I always had perfect skin. Always. I didn't get my first pimple until I was like 22. Mm. Lucky. Yeah, it must be nice. Mm-hmm. 
man, I ain't get my first single until I was like 22. So like when that shit started happening, like I thought I was never gonna get none of that shit ever. When that shit started happening, I was kind of like panicking, but not really. It got bad once I stopped playing basketball because I wasn't active every day. So I actually had to take care of my skin then. So like diet, whatever little skin shit I had to do and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like nothing that really ever took like anything crazy life changing for me to adjust or come to terms with it. It was literally with this within myself. Like mm -hmm. any little thing that I dealt with, like oh my eyes be low, or oh, this eye a little off center. Yeah, I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, yeah, that's probably what's going on. And again, like when like he said. As superficial as it sounds, like women still like me, so it's just like nothing about me could be that bad. Once you realize, once you realize, bro, you got shit. Once you got, love son. Once you realize you got shit going for you, like because people playing house kind of, yeah. Because your mother can say whatever to you, you know. What I mean? You're like, in the back of your mind, you be like, yeah, whatever, my mom, yeah, like your aunt, whatever, you know, family. Because your mom's gonna be like, you ugly. Did you see him? This this tall awesome. this tall chocolate man over here. Bro, what's she got going on? Like with, the, with the jawline oh and the waves. Is that a velvet dude? Velveta. Yeah, done. <laughs> yeah. Are you done? That's all right. Yeah. I knew it is. You know it's because he's southern. That's why. Mm -hmm. Damn. Nigga like said what? Mm -hmm. What? Wait, what the fuck does Nigga said, my shortcoming is that I have no shortcoming. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I work too right. hard. <laughs> <laughs> see, he was go. See, this is what you do, bro. You see what you do? I put my nose to my work. You good? You, you, you done? Not as good as you. <laughs> <laughs> going into 2021, I'm going to be very honest going forward. So I'm going to keep a stack with you. I'm not done. <laughs> What have you not been honest? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, with, 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 with us. Oh. oh. I'm saying. Nah, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm saying. Would you? Because you definitely got a track record to keep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm gonna say I'm done, but I keep going. Okay. So rather that you know, it. so rather actually going, you're gonna say you're gonna go and then keep going. Nah, I'm not gonna go right away. You know, I'm gonna wait for my little. Come on, get on you fitting. You know? Alright, brother, so to to, to you pull it on to you, you know um, what I'm saying? What uh for me it would have to be um kinda of similar to the last one you said as far as like the eye. Like I would notice in some pictures like one eye would be like different and I'd be like that shit is weird. Um but just how I came out in photos, period. Mm -hmm. Um that was one thing I always used to have. Uh as weird, like it's weird because like when you said as far as like the women will be like they'll tell you one thing. Like I used to hate my smile, but then the biggest compliment I always get will be my smile. And I'm like, are you looking at the same picture I'm looking at? <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like I don't know why. They, oh, like I love your teeth or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, really? Like mine? I, okay, I guess. But, um, so that would be those would be the two. And then, um. I always felt like, I remember I told y'all when I was younger, I used to be like chubby. So for me, it was like, I always felt like I still had that. Like, so some people always like, people always he's broad. Like, I looked at myself like, he's just big. Like, I used to look at it like that. So that used to always be a problem that I always used to have. Um, but I guess, like I said, women, women were complimented. So it would be like, but even though like, I never was a person, I never see compliments. So even when they would compliment me, I still didn't give a fuck what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm like, saying? Like, I'm saying I don't really believe. You know what I mean? Like, and that would probably be the other one too. I don't believe shit nobody said. Mm -hmm. Which I know is a problem because I don't know why. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, you could tell me, yeah, the, like there's no cars crossing. I would still look. Like, nah, it's a car down the street though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know why. Like, I mean, that's not really. Uh, yeah, nah, not I that. feel that's just learning. Because, <laughs> like, it's plenty of times, man. He would tell you, right? We're crossing the street, and I'm not even, I'm just so. I know Leon got me, right? So I'm not even dependent on myself. I'm on my phone, not even paying attention. He crossing, I'm just crossing. Look at Nah. Nah, he's not. That bad times, I'm moving a certain way. And I just move and too. Was, like, and I'll grab him. Nah, like, and I think that's probably the biggest thing I feel like uh, being that, that having that, um, that lone wolf term. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I'm, I had that too much to the point, like, that's like, <laughs> 
Pussy. It's yeah. like damn, nigga. Like shit. You 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 you, you think you need nobody, nigga? Yeah. Like, the fuck? Like that's like. A, yeah. It's like that's a that's a problem like, I have. I I fight with that shit a lot. Yeah, I never give a fuck about that. I'd be like this nigga Dom's being Dom's, whatever. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't I fuck with nobody. Like, I'm like yeah, nigga, shut up. You fuck with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's like part of. Cause like when when I met Dom, he was cool over it, right? Flipper with kids and beat. And that's what I had to like, put the like I had to take the hat off, right? Because you know the same friends I had I've always had, so I'm used to how niggas yeah like, like talk whatever case and be. So I had to put the hat on, like actually know what type of nigga he is to understand if he cool with you or not. And notice when people's around him, notice how he acted people versus how he acting with you, you know what I'm saying? So he'll he'll say what he wanna say when he wanna say it. But I wouldn't put it like you just alone. You just like, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you ready, you ready. And that's like mm-hmm. that's so honestly that would probably be the big well probably be the biggest one. Like my personality is probably my biggest insecurity. I don't know why. It's just weird as hell. Cause it's like in some ways you can attract a lot of people, but in the same mm-hmm. time I'll be like Damn, nigga, are you, are you an asshole? Are you not? Are you cool? Like, I would be no, I'd be confused. Nah, nah. I, <laughs> <laughs> not, you have to take people. You, you have to take people not, with who, who they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you that much of an asshole though. No, no, no. Like, okay, like, okay, so, like, okay cool. so for me, right? It's like okay, like all right. Sometimes I'll be like, it was. I have those moments where like I go into that long book shit. Like, okay, cool, fuck it, it don't even matter. But then I'll be like. Is that the right thing to say? It's not to do. Like, let's say you say something like, yeah, I don't give a fuck about you. Whatever. I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. Like, but I really, in the moment, but I really you probably don't. think about this. But then I'd be like, damn, is that the right thing to say? Like, you know, it just, it's just always a battle personality that's always be having. Mm. Which is weird because, like I said, I could I, I attract a lot of, as far, not as far as like women, but just like people around. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's you know, how I am. You got a big personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but for me, it just be weird because it's like, but then again, I don't like people like that. So, it comes with the territory, man. So, that's like the weird, I don't know. Yeah. That's what you want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've accepted it, though. To, you say what? I've accepted it, though. I was like, fuck it, this is just how you are. Yeah, you have to, you know what I mean? You can't fight, you can't fight your innate nature, you know what I'm saying? Right, you, you obviously, as people, you always still want to improve yourself. Like, so I still try to, like, the negative sides to it, I try to, like, pick at but then you so got, those things are part of you too though from from what i heard though you definitely improved because i didn't get that done <laughs> mm-hmm. i got that i got that honestly i woke up and dump over it the dog that was cutting my ass so much <laughs> ass be like yo am i <laughs> <laughs> in between like yo this nigga Donald don't fuck with me or something like, <laughs> no, yeah. all right i'm like no bro you, you, it's, it's, it's okay that's just him <laughs> all right cool no because no 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 right because listen right because because you didn't cut ass like that but he oh Brent, bro man oh Brent. <laughs> and and then, he's so okay all right i'm saying like niggas, yeah, yeah, yeah. niggas with the vibe right i'm with the vibe clearly that's that his name it's like he just keep going yeah, he don't stop. Going. He don't stop. And like when you over it, okay. <laughs> and it's this funny be because fun. like, you, okay, cool. But then when you like, okay. ask me, it would be like dead silent. <laughs> we be at work and we just, just dead silent. Yo, this nigga don't, this nigga don't know fuck with me or something. Like, like I, was like, I was like, yo, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> nah, if I ever give you that, bro, nah. Dog. If I ever give you that, nah, you know, you know, like, yo, so, so, I, I, I did it. You know, like, I'm gonna fuck with you ask. What you asking that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that's what he really comfortable with you, though. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And like, it, it took me probably like. The end of the last year to realize, not the end of the last year. Like, first time he said that shit to me, I said, you know what, fuck probably, you, probably around like September to last year. I was like, all right, so you know, this, this is how he is, he can be, so I can put the hat on, like, he don't really warm up to you, he, he fuck with you, he just on. Yeah, man, that's what I mean. Lay it out, like, that's what I mean. And that's what I mean as far as accepting it. Like, I feel like with people, sometimes you just gotta accept who you are. I'm like a mom, everybody, you know what I mean? And for right. me, like, me, I'm a jack. I'm a, obviously, I know I'm a joke, so like, it's more on the asshole side, but like, yeah. feel me? But 
is like, fuck it. Like, I'm not gonna even take time. I gotta feel this nigga out. Nah, I'm gonna be me if, if I fuck with him at the end of me meeting. Or then I, if not, if it does you know what I mean? Like, if, if I, he vibe with it, he vibe with it. If not, just me. Fuck it. We just won't be cool. But nah, you know, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was just like, I never had to adjust to like other niggas. Like, besides niggas that I know, y'all the next, like, quote unquote, new fan for me. So I never had to adjust to like really fuck with another mm-hmm. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like K and B, so it was that type of shit. Like, okay, I gotta know who Booby is, I gotta know how he is, I gotta know how Don, I know how Nate is, you feel me? So Yeah. But Yeah, I think this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> <dude. laughs> but I feel you with that personality shit, because you sometimes get into your mind and check yourself. Yeah. Like, Am I really doing this right thing or not? Yeah. I feel like, because I, I kind of do that same shit. I got a calm shift. When it comes to that security thing, um, y'all know I'm a person with like wild female friends, so I always interact with the, well, sorry, women. I always interact with women. Mm-hmm. So one thing that I've noticed is when it comes to physical insecurities, men, we get over that shit generally quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Women sometimes hamper on that. So like if a nigga put on weight, it's just like, damn, I'm going to go to the gym. If you that kind of person, other people, you know, other niggas, they put on that weight and it's just like, yeah, fuck it, it's me. Like, yeah. niggas outside yeah. at the pool, no shirt, yeah. and they hang. And women celebrating that shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, it's husky nigga season type shit. Yeah. And on the flip side, women, you know, they put on a little bit of weight. Oh, I'm fat. And I'll be looking at you like, yeah, that shit's fat. Like, 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 yo, for funny part, nice that's like, a, yeah, healthy. Yeah, it'd be like, personally, and it be no, it don't even be noticeable until they say. Yeah. I'm about to say personally, I don't even really. I don't even notice it. Not saying that I'm not paying attention to the woman, but this is like, I don't see nothing wrong with, with you mode. putting on ten pounds. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I'm not cool. saying you put on fifty. But that's, that's <laughs> like, like, you putting on ten, fifteen? That's because like body image. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like that's body image. In but body. I was gonna say it goes to like kind of with um, as far as like some people. When you see so much stuff on like Twitter, Instagram, mm-hmm. you see people on beaches and you like, damn, look at her shit. Mm-hmm. And then you start picking away like, damn, I, or you start looking at your opus is like, like, I mean, you got to look two years ago, you probably was in a different space now. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe you work a lot now, you can't, you can't, you probably not able to go to the gym. Go to the gym. So like probably the food you got to eat now got to be some quick fast yeah. food because you don't got time to sit there and cook or something like that. I always try to tell people that. Like, it's like, you gotta just accept, either go to the gym or just accept how you look. I know for me, like, the, with the women I had dealt with before, I, I would notice it, but, like, I ain't say shit, because it was like, I don't care. I don't, yeah, I don't really care. Like, I didn't, like, I told, like, I told before. Though, like, a little belly roll, a little back. Just start, I see stuff on the That's arm, true. under the neck, like, you know what I mean? The little double chin start to grow in, stuff like that. Like, I, I would notice it. I just never said nothing, because I didn't. Yeah, obviously you 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 are attractive, you're an attractive woman, but like it was like I told y'all for me it was we was cool, like conversational wise, so that shit is still stayed the same even with the little weight gain. So I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I never tripped up. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a little fifteen pounds. And it's you know a little warmer in the in the wintertime. That's Ain't nothing wrong with that, yeah, right? Man. Still beautiful. I feel like with the weight thing was what's really the most important thing with that is like, are you healthy? Because you could put on them fifty pounds and be healthy. healthy. Yeah. You put on fifty. Yeah, you probably. Yeah, it depends on your weight. You know what I'm it's saying? Like, it depends on. The, it's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into that shit. Yeah, yeah like your blood pressure can still be fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. Like, oh, okay. But you can still be like a healthy person yeah. just because I the gain the weight you gain doesn't necessarily mean you're unhealthy. Because for some people they can't like they they weigh their body set up. It's hard for them to mm-hmm. be like slim type shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. for some people like and they can't offset weight is mm-hmm. very unhealthy for them. So yeah. question, right? So so say I did on like a just throwing one out like a girl that's like five five, right? You met her, she was one thirty, now she one eighty. Okay. Fuck it. Right. Fuck it. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> that that shit don't really like. You know what I'm saying like it shit don't really mean nothing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it don't she because was, I feel like you a cornball if you switch up on her because of that. Cause nah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. Up. I'm not saying you. But, but, but I'm like, okay, like, am I gonna like fifty though? Fifty though? Like I would, yeah. Like I, I would tell her. Not saying that I'm gonna leave her, right? But I'm saying is I would be like, yo, babe, you put on fifty. Then you're not pregnant. You're not. 
None of that. You just put on 50. Right? So gradually speaking, you ain't put on 50 in like a month. You put on 50 in like a year, two years. Hmm. Depends on it depends on the, on the dynamic of your relationship. Yeah. It's just like not, yeah. if, if she know you're a person that's just not just but like you place a lot of emphasis on looks. It's not even about not about saying it's just you in general. I'm saying like if the person like if I know I, I'm cut up, I got the body, whatever, whatever, and that's what attract that's part of what attracted this woman that I'm messing with. Mm -hmm. And I know I don't want to say she's very vocal with it, but like it's known. She likes niggas like that. That's her type. You know what I mean? If I lose that shit three years in, and it's problems, like you know what I mean? And she voices like, "Yo, we used to do this, we used to do that." I feel like that's a fair conversation to have. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a fair conversation to have. I don't think it's grounds to break up with somebody. I don't think it's grounds. Nigga, I'm not saying nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair conversation. Fifty? fifty? It ain't a regular week. That's fifty. I'll let her know, like, bro, I, I you hope said if, I, if I get 50, if, if I look at 170 to 220, I hope oh, my I'm, women I'm with gonna let me know. I'm gonna like, find out. What y'all understand? I'm some, women be, some women be slimming all that shit and be like, the body look great, but the mental be fucked up. You right. You right. They did that happy weight right. thing, they everything be a thing sometimes. You right. They do right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. when someone loves you for who you are, so you don't be really in a bad place. And that's why they skinny, because they can't eat. They can't sleep. Yeah. They overworking yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's true. That's, that's true. That's a that's a big one. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, like I said, I feel like if, if a dude's I guess it all goes back to, to me personally, it's like some people look at social media how they body or how they should be set up and then that's what they try to like you know, that's their goal now. I gotta look like her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these people be photoshopped and fucking. Yeah, some of them be yeah, getting, getting not... having like procedures done to yeah. keep the weight off. Like, so that's they want that BBL shit? Yeah. What's that? But they get this, this stuff in that little Brazilian butt lift. Oh, yeah. It's each his own. You mean? Yeah, I mean, it's a big one right now. I ain't gonna shame nobody to get their body done, but it's just like, be open with it. Listen, because yeah. there's a lot of people that yeah. do that shit in front, like, oh, I worked hard for this. No, just let, they, let people know because we're in 2021 now. Like, it's not like plastic surgery is like a taboo or anything. Like, everyone, well, not everyone, but people are doing this shit. So if you want to do it, be open with it. Right. Create that space for the conversation so you're not shaming people for not looking like mm -hmm. you. Not saying the people that are doing it are shaming people, but it's people in comments and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's yes, whatever, man. Like, you just people just gotta just gotta be like I said, be gotta be comfortable within yourself. That way, when you see shit like that, I don't even like yeah, it might be nice to look at, but it's like I don't. All right, that's her. This is me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, gotta just stop comparing. A lot of, some people compare shit too much. Mm -hmm. Like they'll compare how they are to this person or where this person is at at this age. It's like it's two totally different paths of life, two totally different spaces. So you gotta just just live your live your own lane. Mm -hmm. The one I forgot, one of my biggest insecurities was my shoulders. Because when I was at the peak of working out, okay. my yeah. shits never got big. Like, And I would do isolation strictly just on my shoulders, and them shits never budged. Mm. I mean, some, like, like Don said, there's certain parts, like everybody's um, physical nature is different, and everybody, the way you put on weight of muscle is dependent on you, how, how your body's set up. Yeah, genetics. I mean, it's always had like wide, broad shoulders, but you know, like Dwight Howard shits, mm -hmm. like action figure, that was my, like, that was my goal right there. I wanted my shits to look like that nigga shits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was it right there. See, I remember it was Tommy was eating a lot too. Still wasn't really gaining weight. I mean, I know what I have to do to gain weight. I can put on weight. I can build like. I think but, it's but just where the way you gain weight is not. It's easy. not. It's hard. There's no way to like really target. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that's just going. You keep doing that shit. It's like you ain't going away. It's going somewhere else. Um, it's funny y'all say um, like, I, but you know what's funny? Like we talk about how like body shame and I mean, we kind of went on a tangent, but and how like how the body set up like body imaging, but. A lot of people get get depressed about that. Like, I ain't gonna front you. Like, I was a kid though, so really, I don't think I was depressed. But like, I was really aware of my weight as a kid. 
Cause everybody, all of my friends was like skinny and shit. And they put me in different places. Like, I used to wear like husky jeans like, as a kid. Like they'd be like, hey, the kid section, husky. Like it was straight up. And so like my waist. How much, how much you weighed? But like, you still driving the kid section? That's Shop at Baby Gap, you know who you are. Yeah, yeah, I used to be, and I used to get like really, I, don't, I guess I got depressed about it at a certain point because like, it was like, I felt like I couldn't control the weight. I wasn't, I wasn't part of the sports. How much, how much you weighed at a certain age? I had it when I was like, I was seven, at the age of seven, I probably like weighed like one. Damn. Yeah. The minute you said one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. At seven? Yeah. And then at a certain point, I wasn't until I started doing like sports like martial arts and track that I started losing the weight. And but I ain't gonna hold you it still put me in that place of like like I guess a depression. You know what I mean? And even now. Now I'm good. Like the last time I ever had a weight issue, I it was like when we did um the some the some youth program, um the um upper bound. I was sitting, I was sure to sitting down like, hmm. Get a little big there, buddy. <laughs> and I'm just like, nigga, what? He's like, yeah. He's like, you need, you need to take ass to the gym when you sleep. <laughs> I'm like, what? And then like, so much like five times. Literally five times. Day. Literally like a day, like a day. My, I work the night shift, so I'm I'm up from. Oh, like, I remember. Yeah. So I'm up. I sleep. I come like say, all right. I go to. I don't. I don't eat breakfast with them, but I go see them like like my lunch lunch time. I come around down like. Shit looking a little tight. You should go fix that. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what type of sort of shit you doing right now? <laughs> and I like, I kind of thought about it. I was like, yeah, now you better. You did, bro. Start going to the track. Start working out. Just be friends like dog. Yeah. You be friends like dog. Well, no. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because I know some people that, that would take what you say. It just direct it into being an asshole, mean, or yeah, nigga don't care about. Because with Dom, he not gonna give you more than he think you can't take. And that Me? is true. <laughs> My, that is true. Yeah. That is fucking true. <laughs> See, the thing is, I'll, that say, is true. I'll say the same shit, but I'll just say it. I, don't, I know a couple people that did not like me in college because I say certain shit. Like this one shorty in particular. I'm, they, we cool. I think we to the point where I can tell you some shit and you, you know what I mean? Nope. We, nope, clearly not. I'm in the room where I'm like, yo, I hate your eyebrows. You need to stop doing them like, no. she <laughs> yeah. never talked to me again. Nah, yeah, that's him. Yeah, you know, that does me just nothing. That's yeah, thing, I'll say, man. but like me, I'm like, you know, that's you still though. I'll say, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm like, I ain't gonna front. Yo, Lex, like me, I'm the type, I'm like, I ain't gonna front. You do need to go to like the, the Get your eyebrows done, your nails, or something. Shit. But then it wasn't her shit was done. It was just she was doing her eyebrows herself. It legit looked like a sharpie just in. It's tough. That's that's super tough. I'm, cool. I'm right. saying if you tell me some shit like that, I'd be like, all right, cool, fuck it. I gotta go fix this. She took it as like, yeah, I was telling him. Mad rude, da, da, da. I was telling him he getting big. I was like, front bro, you a little gut. How would you do it? How would you do it? Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I think you're gonna keep telling me. Yes. So clearly you want me to do something. Yeah. About it. Yes. So it's either you gonna fix it or you're gonna come terms with it. Y'all people I know that like, you know, y'all like how your body is, you know. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So I know he wants to get like bigger. But like he getting bigger, <laughs> just not, not the bigger he want. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling nigga, you getting a little pudgy. Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, this nigga dead poke me, bro. I'm sitting. Like, he like yeah, just like that. Or a shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> so I'm like, that is me. Nah, that shit is funny, but. I don't know. I mean, so I was, uh, so for the weight thing, like we're talking about like uh, men, like well, we're all men, we're talking about how some of us handle weight, uh, in that sense, I did. And Dom, you know, he was, let me say he was overweight as a kid. Um, how do you feel, and I think, I think Leon, you touched base on it. You were talking about how, um, well, some, some, some people may be attracted to you for that specific reason. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, that's, Primarily, what they look at you for. Do you do you feel like I don't say it goes both ways. It doesn't go. Both, I feel like it goes both ways for women too. Like when you look at women, but I, don't, I think like as a certain, you look at somebody first from physical. You don't know nobody until like you talk to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I kind of hate that when people 
we try to stray away from that narrative, right? Like, oh, it's not all about looks. It's not, but it is when I first meet you. It's beautiful. I don't know nothing about you. you know what I'm saying? It's nothing yeah. about you, but your personality that will make me really like you. I'm talking about me actually. Mm-hmm. I can argue that. You can argue that? Yes. When, when no, I first come on. <laughs> I feel like so do what you about to do and we don't need that right now. What makes look. you actually go talk to a shorty? Her looks. That's what makes me be like, okay, she look good, I'm gonna go talk to her. No, not, not about how she no. Because you just be not, in conversation. No. You just Absolutely be in the group not. of people in the Nah, not, not, nah, nah. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you you in the club where you see a shorty across the room, boom, boom, you see how she look, I'm gonna go talk to her. I'm not talking about you in the, in the space like this where we can talk. No. And you hear how she talk, and then you, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that, that that's a real thing, though. That can happen. That's not the argument. Okay. Well, the, that, that, not the argument I say, but that's not like that's my not situation. Because yeah. yeah. in that it's club, like, it's probably also another. A lot of other a lot of women looking, that, look, that looks good. Of course, of course. So I'm, I ain't saying that's the only one I shot my shot at that night. I'm saying that's a lot of them. <laughs> okay. I asked him time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going front like back in the day. You ain't Same, bro. I'm shooting like, like, shooting like 10, bro. Shooting like 10 that night. What the fuck? Call me. I don't know what yeah, bro. Mmm. Yes, Yo, Leon, right? tennis is understated. You give me the buck. I'm not there. I'm not there. Black. I'm not there. 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 i am not i am Within the party, talk to ten different women. You talk, yo, you, sh- you look good, bro. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm probably not gonna text you after that. Like, there wasn't no conversation. Like, you know what I mean? I was having difficult. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my mind. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bitch, your mind. My mind was what? 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 Toxic. Whatever. So yeah, <laughs> to go off of what you were saying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Go <laughs> on with moments later. <laughs> go on with what you were saying with the present tip. I mean, as far as like depression, you you brought it in with the with the weight and whatnot mm-hmm. and, and self image, but I never really felt depression based off of that. It was more so of like outside sources. So the people that know me, people that are close to me, you know, the year 2016 was a, a rough ass year for me. That was when I was really like depressed. And a lot of people didn't know at the moment because I was very good at hiding it. 2018. But unbelievable. 20, 2017. Like 2016? So different. Has honestly, been. like to, to, to me, 2016 <laughs> was worse to me than 2020 was mm-hmm. for me. Yeah, yeah. Because 2016 just didn't stop. It did not stop. 2016, we were sophomores that year, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. 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 2016 when did not stop. When it came to us, we were sophomores. 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 We I did not go out. Yeah, yeah. Out of everything, people yeah. only saw me when I was with y'all a lot of the time. I know that. And y'all didn't go. And I, I, I went to the school. I, y'all didn't. No, but. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no. That was it. But he was just cool. Nah. That's what I'm saying. People I, have not seen me. I would just check on him. Like I would text him like every other part of the day. I, I got, so I got a question. So how would you? What was, I, I don't know, because it might be a lot, but how do you handle it? Like, how are you guys when you're depressed? I, I know everybody's different, everybody has different mechanisms and shit. Yeah, for me, during that time, um, I think that was the first time. You know, depressed, depression, those are words that I feel like are lightly thrown out. So, you know, especially these days. So, you know, I, 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 I've been sad before. 
but I had never to that point been in a constant state of sadness. Okay. Yeah, because that's really what it is. So, like, that's really what it is. I'm going to sound real, like, fucked up as far as, like, grammar-wise, but I didn't know, like, it was a fucking, like, a verb <laughs> in itself, you know what I mean? Or, like, like, it was an action, like, it was really, I was within yeah. depression. Mm. I didn't really know at the time. Like, I didn't, before then, I didn't know that that was, like, really a thing. But this shit was really, like, binding. I, there were times I did not leave, fuck leaving my suite, I didn't leave my room. Mm. And the only reason that a lot of times that I got like fresh air or like sunlight was because I had to be at certain classes and I was on the team, so I had to go to practice. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of my way of masking the fact, of masking what I was going through. Mm -hmm. And people would hit me up like, are you trying to do this? I'm like, all right, I'm in the crib, I'm doing homework. That wasn't doing the homework. Oh, I gotta go to the library. Yeah, you really fuck with niggas then, because we actually, you, you coming. Yeah. You <laughs> like, no, yeah. He's been like, yo, like, what's going on this weekend? We trying to call coming. I'm like, uh, yeah. Um, this weekend, that party's happening. This, this shit gonna be lit. Y'all come up. And I, like, I will say that, like, when y'all came up to visit me, it was, it was a break from what I was going through. Go it was a break from what I was going through. But I knew once y'all left, I was going right back in my room and no one was seeing me. Floyd so trying to recollect all the time. We're talking about that whole year, like, hold up. No, 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 no. But it's, not, it's, not, it's not like, oh, like, I ain't know he not going through the exam. The, the fact that, like, I know for me, like, me going through 16, 17, right? For me, my distraction was my niggas. Like, mm. I spent the most time with y'all niggas. You feel know I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. So. I ain't, I don't really, I ain't never really tried to say, oh, I'm depressed with whatever's going on because of, like, I ain't really want to just throw that shit out there, that shit real, you know what I'm saying? I know at the end of the day, I'm still blessed, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I got, you got shit, you, yeah, right? Yeah. So, it, it, it's not like, that's kind of, that's kind of, that, 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 that's kind of, that kind of takes away from what you're going through, though, sometimes. Exactly. I know. I think what we posted last time, the toxic positivity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a thing, like. But I never, like, really thought about that shit until, like, recently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I never really, like, tapped into no fuck shit that probably happened to me or I didn't address or about to, like, coming up, like, you know what I'm saying, this last year, for whatever case it be. Mm -hmm. So. You know, whatever happened, like, cool, but I'm gonna see my niggas, you know what I'm saying? We gonna have fun, we gonna listen to the third. I'm just like, whatever that, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever I was thinking about, I'm good, like, you feel me? I got fame around me. Niggas is blessed, so that's how I just, you that's know, you know, and then you're not really dealing with this shit until, like, you know? You also gotta understand, yeah. you was down here with the rest of our friends. I wasn't. I was eight hours away from all y'all. Not to take anything away from y'all. But still though, was, I wasn't really mm -hmm. cool. Like, you can't really say that though, yeah. right? Like, mm -hmm. if, you, mm -hmm. if you if you look like if you look like that. I wasn't just down here, I was up. I was with Bro, I was with the rail, yeah. when I came to see them. I came to see you. So I wasn't really how often there. did I really see y'all? It was, I'm not gonna say y'all. We see you like, like every twice a semester. You right. You were. Right. A semester of 15 weeks. You right, you right, you right. I seen niggas seen Roll like that. Exactly. I'm saying, y'all went to Roll because Roll was closer. So y'all could take a bus up Shout out to Ray Hill, y'all. 20, yeah, it's up. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, my boy. What's, what's his brand? Ray Hill, y'all, Douglas III. Yeah. On Instagram, follow him, he an actor. I said he's super nice. That's Link is in bio. Go follow him, shout him out. But, but yeah, like, he was close to y'all. I ain't gonna then pay $20 and go see him. <laughs> from Friday to Sunday. Right. 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 <laughs> I was a whole trek, eight hours away. Right. Uh, again, I take nothing away from nobody because, like, yeah. I'd say, like, I wasn't really vocal with the shit because, for one, that's not really a, a, a conversation that I was ready to have at the time. And also, when I did come to grips with, like, seeking help, that wasn't a conversation that I, I wanted to have with y'all. Because I didn't know. Let's keep it saying, none of us really talk about anything that was going on. Not a thing. Not a thing. It's not until I got around y'all niggas when I start talking and start thinking about shit. You feel me? 
Yeah, welcome. <laughs> welcome, anyway. <laughs> no, it's, it's, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, it's, 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 it's not really right. I'm turning around y'all and I start thinking, I start talking. It was because like certain shit that happened and I tell him and he'd be like, yo, bro, you, you all right though? That shouldn't, shouldn't. And then I thought, that's the Leon. The Leon though, he would bring me, he's like, you okay, bro? But yeah, I'm all right. But then I know how you he know, thinking, you know it, right? Like, I'll think about this shit later. I'm like, nah, he ain't just asking that for a reason, bro. Like, I feel like I like, think what I just said probably fucked up. <laughs> to me, like that's how that shit will go. The thing is, I because we we as men, I know we, you. Yes, I I know your quirks. Probably the best out of all my friends because you wear your heart on your sleeve. So, like, I know your walk when you walk into the office. How your morning went, honestly. As much as you try to hide it. Yeah, that shit be dope. Same niggas don't really deal with shit until like it's time for them to deal with it, but. So it's definitely true, especially I kind of feel like as like, at least like the way society is, like as men, we always gotta like have this like kind of headstrong type of thing. Well, yeah. for, for you, uh, moving like back into those, well, was there ever, well, I'm pretty sure you kind of tip as well, that you've been there before. Like, what was it like for you in that, when you was in that, in that depression, that, that state? Um, well, I mean, shit. I mean, y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all experienced it, like, y'all have seen it somewhat these past two weeks. Like, I kind of feel like I've been distancing myself. Um, I mean, like, I feel like I used to kind of mask it. I mean, starting sophomore year was when I actually started going through it depression-wise. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, I was smoking a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, we were hella. Hella. Yeah, like, it was not a day to do the, 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 the room, the national life. That nigga was oh, yeah. pulling up, yo. Like, as soon as classes was over, 7, 8 o'clock, niggas were smacked. Facts. And niggas be like, we out to dine? We out to dine. <laughs> I mean, it, it used to be like that, dealing with it like that, but there came a wall where, like, that's where it's not gonna cut it, you know? Um, when, like, a whole lot of, I don't really wanna get into it, but when things just get too much, you know, you start to realize that you, you're doing too much, um, you start affecting the people that surround you, you know? I kinda feel like, and y'all probably, probably didn't even really know it because I had transferred out. Yeah. So, like, I had gone through it, what, like, 2017, 18, like, being in a new school, um, being around new people, trying to make friends, like it was a bit of a struggle. Yeah. And like, I mean, at that point it was just like, you know, it is what it is, it's depression, you know? Like you just you don't go through the shit by yourself. I mean, I did have my girlfriend there, but you know, you sit there, you just take it all by yourself. You know, I kind of feel like personally, like it was never, like feelings were ever, never really discussed as much in the family, you know? You were always supposed to be thankful for what you got, you know, all the materialistic things, you know, which I will be in there, Yeah, all that, you know, but actual feelings, having them validated, understanding it's okay, and trying to work through the things. It's been somewhat of a struggle, but like, I was going back to what I was saying, past couple of weeks, I kind of feel like sometimes I do distance myself, but like, it's mainly because it's like, I, I don't want to bring no one else down that's around me. You know, I don't know what y'all going through, like, everyone goes through their things. So it's like, it, it'd be hard sometimes, you know, you just go through it yourself. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Oh. Perfect over here. Perfect. Stop saying that. He's perfect. No, perfect. 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 We should put that in. We should. We should. We should. Uh, Every time you know what I mean. Nah. Um, <laughs> you done, nigga? Because you go. I understand, you know, like, being at the top of the evolutionary chain. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Like, why isn't everyone else like this? Are you done? Are, are, you, are, you, are you done? Could you get that nigga and you just like, around niggas, it's not that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's lonely at the top, you know? It's lonely at the top. <laughs> First of all, that you just know that because you just know that that's illegal. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Nah, I know it started with Tran. 
So? That's not for me. Ain't but no Bobby Brown. He was the best singer vocally. Bobby Brown had, had I don't try to kill him, nigga. You try to kill him. Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Anyway, them niggas were nasty earlier. Early on. They put him on that friend dress. Would you want to be Ralph? I'm high, bro. I see that. Would you want to be Ralph? Ralph, would you? Hmm? Ralph? You want to be me? You were definitely a tall nigga. Who tall nigga? Ronnie. You were Ronnie. He was a dolphin when he was little. You was Ronnie. I just want to be down. I was not Ronnie. Fuck that. I just want to be down. He's Ricky. You was Mike. For sure. I knew that for Go ahead, bro. Um, Ricky Bell was on that stuff. <laughs> the fuck? He was oh, that's tough. Stuff. All right. All right. <laughs> this is no, I'm ahead of him. Well, if, if anything, like, personality wise, he was Mike. Yeah. Major to Misses. Yeah, he is. Think the major going to death to this shit? My bad. My bad. So <laughs> hold on. Stop. Stop. Go. Put yourself in there. Nah, that seems like they want to keep this. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna remember this up when we done. Oh, um, yeah. What was the question now? Right, so yeah, how do you deal with your depression, sir? Damn. Um, <laughs> but that's tough. Um, <laughs> do you have depression? Yeah. Sorry, Doctor Phil. No, yeah, nah, so, no, nah, because because I don't want to. I'm saying just just you sad for one day. I'm saying I'm trying to make yeah, sure yeah, like yeah, yeah. And that's a real thing. Like I'm trying to make yeah. sure like do you be depressed. Um, uh, yeah, um, and I think what it is, for me, like, I, I, I guess I prolonged mine, like, it will happen, then I try to prolong it, um, not talk about it, but well, I kept it in, because like I told y'all, growing up, I would just, like, always be, to me, like, the lone wolf, I guess, I'm called a syndrome now, it's not a syndrome, I'm just saying, the whole lone wolf syndrome I have, like, I just, I try to handle it by myself, or I handle it when I get a chance to, and, when you do that and you keep putting it off, like, I guess for me, it, it started with like, I, don't, I think I told y'all before, um, like I heard my my uh, uncle with James, he died on the phone. So like hearing that as a kid, like it's something I never got over. Like sometimes I'll often go back to that night uh, whenever I see like certain people that would pass away, that's close, like it would fuck with me and I would be like, I'll deal with it, I'll deal with it another time. Or like, like you said, you try to tell yourself, oh, there's so much life in the world, or I'ma live through them. You try to say shit like that, and this shit mm-hmm. never, you say that, but at the same time, it's hard to do it. And then like, my so, coach, huh? But, so it's like, what would be your alternative? Cause like, clearly you're not really doing it, right? Uh, well, at the time, it would be sports or um, when the world was open, like, you know, I could hang out the chill child, I could go to Nate's crib. So if I'm ever going through something, I could be like, fuck it, I'm gonna do that Nate's crib. He think I'm just coming to just chill, but like, distra- yeah, so yeah. it's a distraction, I'll be dealing with it. You just- right, and I would do that. Like, a lot of people don't even know, like, for me, the reason why like, I would be in the gym or basketball a lot was because I didn't want to be there, be in my room, like, to myself. That's what some people be like, oh, you be on your game a lot. It's not because I'm just want to be on the game a lot. Cause I don't want to be in that space where the where it's just quiet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like I never really wanted to deal with the quiet space. So like my mind just in silence. It's like okay, I'm talking with my, my I'm talking with my bros. It's a distraction. So we talking about the game. We talking about shorty. We talking about work. So it's like my mind is not sitting there. But throughout the pandemic, when it's now more, you're not seeing it. Like, remember before we would go to fucking uh, King of the Sea every Thursday. Like it was a thing. Every Thursday we know, yo, we going to all. We did. He get his taco, his shrimp taco. <laughs> I get the fish and chips. We might get it. We get the fish bowl. <laughs> we vibe. Like you feel me? That was our thing. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Oh, man. Like every Thursday. That's what, <laughs> so I know at the end of the day, I gotta just get through these next three days mm-hmm. clean. Like mm-hmm. sure. and then Thursday. And then from that Thursday, you got Friday, then the weekend, we gonna figure right, something we out. We had a whole argument, right? For like an hour on Giannis and um, yes. somebody else. Yeah, it was somebody else. Niggas was saying he top five. 
I think that was the the, the, the But it was somebody else. It was somebody else who was comparing it to. I forgot who it was. LeBron. It was LeBron. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it was LeBron. But who was better? But he was having to think about that. We were arguing about a lot of stuff. So it was like easily, you could easily get wrapped in some of them. That wouldn't go back home. We get up for work. Right? Cause think about it. We'd be like there six, six, seven. We start going home to like 11, 12. Mm-hmm. So by the time you get home tired, I'm going to sleep. You know what I mean? Like over four, I'll play the game to like two, one o'clock, two in the morning. Cause I'm tired now. So once I cut this game off and I lay down, I know I'm going to sleep. So it's not gonna be sitting in my bed like thinking about the day. Nah, I would just try to mask it that way. Um, but then like it just like I said, it catches up with you. And like recently was when you know the whole shit happened on the train. Basically, I had a whole like anxiety attack on the train. Like whereas my eyes just was like blurry. I couldn't even see. I couldn't like coordination wise. <laughs> 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 Bro. Nah, but um, <laughs> I forgot that shit all. <laughs> <laughs> that did too. But like, you know, like fumbling. Like I'm t- trying to text this nigga, but the phone keep driving. I keep trying to pick it up. Like you go through all that shit, and then I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And then I'm realizing that it's from like when my coach passed away, and like that was probably the one I think that was where I felt it the most. But like I tried to mask it through like a lot because basically. I held on to that because you know how like people always ask you, oh, how you doing in school? Like he was the only person to really check on my grades first of all. Mother didn't check on my grades. She never asked how school going, how's your grades, like what's classes feel like. She never asked that. He was the only one. But because it got to a point where I knew I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing in school, I would like try to avoid his calls. Because I don't want to take, oh, you got 3.0? Yeah, I got one. Not shit like 2.4. You know what I'm saying? Like I was trying to avoid that for so long. So then like, Okay, so he passed away in June. I was supposed to graduate that May, but because I'm doing what I'm supposed to, I avoided his calls, and I was like, I'll call him. But then, so I felt that because he died when I was supposed to graduate, he would have been there for it. And he kept saying, oh, you're gonna graduate this year? Yeah, I should be. I'm taking off my six classes in the next fall, I mean, the next semester, I'll get it. They, okay, all right, let me know when to come, all right. But then after that, I would just never pick up any call he tried to have because I know it was gonna pass. So when that happened and he died, it kind of like, it stuck with me because it's like your last the, the month before you would have been at least alive for that. Mm-hmm. So okay. that shit. That's tough. Exactly. So like imagine like I've been living with that shit for so long. It was like there was just that 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 feeling of like disappointment. It was like it just was living with that shit for so long. It was just like all right, bro. Like you gotta finish it somehow, some way. And it was like, I couldn't even call his wife because it was like, I was just so disappointed. And even when I went to this funeral, like I didn't even really want to be seen there or even go to this casket because it was just like, I don't want to see him like that. I don't have nothing to put there besides what a basketball medal. But like his big thing was never about basketball, it was always school. And my thing was like, damn, I could at least have like a, a plaque or something to get to him, like a tassel or something. Mm-hmm. So for a long time, it just was fucking me up and then teammate passed away there. So much people fucking keep dying. It was just like, bruh. So like the whole image of death just started popping in my mind and then it just was, for like a whole month, it was just sitting on me then it just, what was that, last Tuesday, something like that? It just, it was unraveled. And then, I didn't know what the fuck was with that. I told, I told her I texted him, I'm not front. You could have possibly saved a lot of shit that just could have happened after that because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Cause people on the train don't really pay attention. They just looking like, Still good over there? Like, mm-hmm. the fuck? Mm-hmm. You bugging. So that's New York for you. We good at ignoring motherfuckers on the train. Yeah, like, it's like, I'm like, shit. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so I just went home and I had to, like, really sit and just, like, meditate and concentrate because I just couldn't. Like, my mother tried to speak to my mom, didn't really work. Remember I told you, I didn't really work. Mm-hmm. So, and it's like, it's still a constant thing. Like, I have, I have to deal with this shit by myself because I don't my mother, she's not the best person to go to. I mean, she probably watched it like damn, but like he's not the best because of, like she's not really like a lot of elders in the black community are not well versed and not well equipped to have the conversations about sadness and grief. I don't yeah, because it's like boy, that's like well, what do you you know what I mean? Like you gotta. They think it's just it's hard to get over yeah. certain mm-hmm. shit. They they choose to ignore it, and it's mm-hmm. worse when you're like. In a super religious home, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not to say like I was really exposed to the, like. Granted, like my family we grew up in the church and whatnot, but I wasn't like exposed to that sense of oh, they ain't nothing but demons. I'm just gonna pray on it. 
Nah. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I gotta talk about this shit. Yeah, too, like, it's like, I wanna talk about it, but it's like, like, kind of what Boogie say. Like, sometimes for us, it's just hard to. I'm about to just run to like, I saw, like sometimes you don't want to keep running to your friend for everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to keep running to y'all every time there's a little, even though granted, like, that's what we say, like, you coming by anything. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, yes. But even though I'm a person, I don't want to abuse that just cause, because mm-hmm. let's say like one of y'all going through something, but I keep coming to you, I'm taking away from you possibly having to deal with your own shit. Exactly. So if I keep coming to you, how am, how are you ever going to deal with it if you are trying to help me with my shit? Like, I always Girl, think about shit. It's, like, it's hard to do that. It's hard, it's hard doing that because it's kind of like, you got, sometimes we have to sacrifice ourselves to give another person the time, but it's also like that person probably think the same shit. And it's like for me, I know, for me, like I'm always like I'm that welcoming door for anybody too. Mm-hmm. And I know sometimes like I can admit, like I'll be like, damn, this motherfucker, like shit. Like if I have something going on, I'll be like, even though like y'all yeah, know, I, I personally help anybody. Like I've had people who've been situations I never talked to before that I've had to drive and go help them with some shit. Like, you remember, not not that one. Remember before it was like, sure, it was like, sure, I remember, Bronx. I think you saw to me, the, the shit with the Bronx, so you had to go, yeah, hey, 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 I had to see. drive, I ain't spoke to her in like months, like in probably like a year. That's what, that's what, that's what I don't really be kidding about. Uh, that, that be my disconnect with the other two. Cause uh, specifically, right? It'd be like people that, like, okay, y'all just like, y'all so welcoming with open arms. To the person, like, do you wrong? Even though, like, you're not expecting them to, to do you wrong. Yeah. But, like, you don't really fuck with them like that, right? Like, so I just, I, I just met you maybe like a month ago through, through me. You feel me? Like, you'll hold it down with some shit, most likely, right? Not saying, you know, it's some shit you gotta drive 10, 20 miles to pick me up, but, like, it was some shit like if I, you know what I'm saying? Some regular ill shit. Me, if I don't fuck with you, yeah, I don't fuck with you. Like, you're not gonna do X, Y, and Z for no reason at no point in time. I know where my shit come from. Like, so, like, it, I feel like it's a combination of two things. Um, the less significant fact of it being, I grew up viewing a lot of media that, that could be considered like a power fantasy. So, you know, you talk about um, superhero shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of that stuff is just a power fantasy to who's viewing it. Mm-hmm. So, people that, it appeals to a lot of people that feel like they're powerless. So, it's a combination of that and then having my mother. My mother is the type of person that she will help everyone. Yeah, literally yeah. everyone. My mother would do that. So me growing up seeing that, I kind of, I had trouble, especially if like if someone tells me they need me for something or they need help, or like even if somebody just like wants to talk about some shit, I have a very difficult time. I like, that I want to not do it. It's just like if this first instinct, like yeah, yeah, like I got you. Even if I don't even think about all the steps that need to go forward into helping them, I automatically like yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of like, for me, like, to kind of figure back off of that, for me, it's like, also, I saw a lot of people who didn't have anybody they can go to. I'm not saying that that necessarily might be like you, but, like, I've always saw that, and I've always wanted to be that person that, I'll per- like, if you're going through something, I know for a fact. Because, you know, some people, they don't have that. Yeah. Like, you know, just saying that they're really going through something, they don't really have a person they can, like, they might have friends, but they don't really have friends that's, like, us, per se. Yeah. So, I always want to be that person that, like, a, a, person, lot of, a lot of people don't have friends, like, you know what I mean? So I always want to be that person, like, if a person really going through something, even if they just want to vent and, like, just get it out. They can call me about it, you know what I mean? Like, I always tell me, I don't answer my phone, but I answer my phone for that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I just never had a problem with that, per se, because, like I said, I just want to be that beacon for a person to just be able to, like, you know, get over whatever they're going through, or if they just generally just need help, like, in any way. You know what I mean? Like, not to make it, like, let's say, for example, even, like, if somebody need, like, bread, I don't have it like that. If you really, really need it, fuck it. You know, fuck it. I'll find a way to get it back. You know what I mean? But you really, really need even it. Even, like, outside your immediate circle. Yeah. I, I could be somebody, like I said, like, I don't, I haven't talked to you in a year, but if, like, somebody called me okay. later today, you're down, like, yo, I really need, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, oh. even, even though, like, yeah, we probably didn't have the best relationship, fuck it, bro. Like, because at the end of the day, we have a history at some point. And I'm not that type of dude. I know I don't hold grudges anyway. So like, it's not like, oh, now nah, we ain't really fuck with each other like that anyway. I'm not gonna do that. That's that's not how I look. 
Just it, what she was make. just saying is a reason for that. Like, one, it could be you have all these people around you, but you chose me to hit up. For for and also, I'm a firm believer, like, you know, God placed people in your path for a reason. So, I'm getting this call because you need to hear something from me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you got, yes, y'all too, y'all too got a lot of comments. Well, like, y'all got the gift of gab. Like, y'all got the gift of making people come, even to somebody you don't even know. I prefer. But y'all yeah, know that. Y'all, y'all make people comfortable. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's God given, honestly. Like, that, that wasn't really a practice kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I, know, I know what it feels like to be uncomfortable. Oh, like, but that's the thing. But people, people like, like, people like Leon, like, like, um, Dom, you know how that feels like. Like, I internalize that when I don't have somebody. I know what it feels like to not have somebody to talk to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, because of that, it means you, when someone comes to you, it's kind of like, I know you feel you down and out, and you feel down and out, but I got you. You know, it doesn't matter what, no matter what it is, no matter what happened, like, fuck it, in your time of need, I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and also it comes from a lot of things, like, y'all said your mom's is like that. That that plays a, a huge foundation, too, to be honest. Like, my mom's the same way. My mom will really help you until she doesn't have it no more. And, and still help. And then still help someone. <laughs> and, 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 and I'll be like, no, I, didn't I, you just I'm say you ain't have That shit happened to me. Like, I, I would dare give you my last, you know what I'm saying, because mm-hmm. of that. So do you do you notice when you're in that state or of what, of like, what? Just, like just helping people when you yeah. when you when you like most likely you shouldn't really be helping them. But to me, it's like, not to me, it's, it's not, not even a state. Not helping. It's just, exactly it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's like for me, it's not even a state. It's just it's just it's just I don't even like it's not even like it's not even like a thought. It's like okay, you need it, you need it. Yeah, like I don't even like battle. Like I don't even fight the shit out. Shit, I'm not just yeah. Okay. Okay. Because a lot of the time I feel. As though it's, it's sometimes like I, I'm not super duper religious, but y'all know me. Like, yeah, like you. A lot of the time, I feel like I am the way I am because God made me this way, so He can act through me. You know what I mean, so something that I don't even really like think about might just flow through my mouth, and it might be the shit that you just need to hear. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't saying I'm a prophet or nothing. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. That means that prophet. <laughs> no, I'm not a prophet. No, you heard what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, what did you say? Nothing. You did. I, I don't care. I heard it. I don't care. I ain't gonna say nothing. I heard it. Um, <laughs> Go ahead, man. Yeah, what about you? Uh, I'm gonna make you put. When I'm in my depressive state, I think I feel like dominant will be a death. I mean, you know what I'm about to say this too, but I get really mm-hmm. to myself and I just don't, I turn off. If I turn off, it's like a switch, I turn off. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, I will not be here, bro. So, um, like, they invite me out, but I'm good. I don't want to go anywhere, I don't bring that energy. Why, why is that? Like the movie said, I don't want to be around and bring people down because of my energy. Because I know for a fact, I may want to go out, but I know for a fact I won't have the energy like I so do so. Like I can bring it up for that event or for that run. You don't think you could? Huh? You said you don't think you could bring it your energy I know I can't. I've, 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 been, I've been in the place. Yeah, I've tried. Yeah, I've tried, 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 tried to. You see, no, I've tried to. And it's like, it's, I mean, that's a lot of energy to put out that you don't have. You know what I'm saying? I end up just being like, you know, I'm good. Uh, in terms of what happened, um, I guess I told the most recent time, like, my mom left the crib, and I didn't think it was going to bother me that much, because, you know, like, I, I've been away from that one, but it did because of where she was living afterwards, like, seeing how she lived and seeing, like, you know, you coming out of college, and it's like, yeah, I knew the reality, you're not going to get, like, that dream job after college, it's like, I thought I would have something to assist you with, you know what I mean, that shit. I'm a mama's boy, to be honest with you, so like, I always, my goal is always to get my mom an actual crib, that's what she always wanted. And not being able to assist in any type of fashion really fucked me, you know what I mean? Like, really fucked me. And also, I didn't have a job, you know what I'm saying? And post-grad depression, whatever you want to call it, like, that shit really got to me on a different, I don't even know why, probably because it's just that. You know, my mom's my everything, low-key. Like, for real, for real. Like, she's a sweet, she's the sweetest lady. <laughs> Literally, like, like I'm at she would, twice. Bro, she would treat you like she, you're her son. Yo, she met now for a second. She's like, you want food? You want this? And I was like, 
my son. She First made me bring him food from home. I went home. home for three days. She made him a, 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 a Tupperware and said, bring this to dad. I said, for what? Mm-hmm. Come uh, back and get that shit. Cool. Let you. Yeah, yeah let you. You know what I'm saying? So it's fine. That shit, you know what I mean? So, and also because like, I've yeah, seen the Haitian food. That shit bust, man. But, um, yeah, man, I feel like it's hard. And I feel like as we do try to down, as men, we do try to downplay um, a lot of what we go through. Because like, like Dom said, you want to be, you want to be, you want to go to your friends, but you may not want to go to your friends like to be a crutch, you know, to too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like sometimes maybe, I don't say maybe, but sometimes you need to let it, let it out little by little, you know what I'm saying? Not all at once, every single time, you know, like, so, how you handle, how you handle, like, you write down in a journal like I do, on the music or whatever, go to the gym, work it out, play ball, however you need to get it out, because that shit will eat you alive, man, like, you know what I mean, and before you know it, like, you'll have, like, I ain't going really, lately, like, I've been having little, like, episodes of days, I'm just, I don't got it, I don't got it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and like, yeah. And like, I was telling Angie this shit, I was like, bro, I don't have, like, you know she needs attention, I'm like, bro, I don't got it. Like, I don't got it for you, like, I don't. Shit, it's, it's cool. You know what I mean? You never, you never, you never get in that state, and you'd be like, like, what, what, what was what was, what was the thing that you said with Boobie said? Something like, uh, positive? Positive, 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 positive. Mm-hmm. You never get into that state, you, that, like, that, that would you get into that mind state, and then you'd be like, yo, it's... And honestly, I used to, in the beginning, like, once I learned, like, once I was how I was with the whole my mom, the mom situation, I tried to, and even Don kind of snapped me back. He's like, bro, I ain't gonna I'm tired of hearing that shit. He said, I'm tired of hearing it because, like, that's all you ever be in. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying. Yeah, I'm gonna say it was because, it, well, no, it wasn't because he was going through it. It was because, like, you ain't, you ain't seen no rope or something? Nah, because, like I said, I can't, I would never be one to point him and I, you know what I mean, wasn't really trying to handle it myself. So you would never be what? The one to try to be like, oh, yeah, you, you can't be because, like, I was oh, doing okay. it myself. Okay. It was just like, in a sense, it was, I ain't front you, think about it, it was a lot, cause like, it was like, I kept, I kept giving off that energy, like, yo, I don't got it, and I try to joke it off, I try to laugh. Yeah, it off. that's, that's what, what was bragging, me. because it would be like, we would be good, right? Like, it would be like, okay, cool, let's say we talking before, like, let's say like, yeah, chop it up, right? Everything cool, then you get there, he depressed, you like, nigga, what <laughs> the fuck? Havoc. Like, it would go, bro, I would turn off, like, there's no, there's no it. transition. Like, so if you get to his crib, he's it's just done. depressed, he's like. It's done, like, it's, it's done, it's clipped, like. And it was like, every, so it wasn't even like, we was there joking that. around, it wasn't even like, we was joking. about the shit. It was, it wasn't like, we was joking around while we did, he depressed, no, like, we was, then when we get there, it's just quiet. It's done, it's quiet. I'm like, like, nah, pull what up. What the fuck did you tell me to go for? Even though, granted, I know some people just want the friend around, but I'm like, wait. Yeah. Are you? Because my thing is, this is something you need to personally sit with and get through with it. Like obviously you can talk to me, but clearly you don't even want to talk to me while I'm here. So yeah. what? I don't know how to help because I don't know what the fuck going. Because he would be like, no. Nah. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't like just one, two. It was, it was nah, a week. I mean, what was it? He would come out. He would come out. Because I would go like every three, day, three days a week, four days a week. Type. And I was like. <laughs> You gotta figure this out with yourself. Yeah. Because like it clearly not- you don't want to speak with me. So <laughs> but what about I can't help you? So why am I coming? Like you can tell yeah, me, yo, bro, not me. today. I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? He told me eventually, like, yeah, nah, it's just whatever. But I'm okay, cool, bro. Like, let me know so when I'm there, I can help. But if I'm just there, like literally he's sitting over there by the computer, I'm on the chair, like, yeah, whatever. He like, yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm just focused on obviously. Yo, you good? Yo, you yeah. good? Yeah. yeah. For like an hour, all right, now. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Because, like, out. Gabby, she don't know. I don't know. Like, she don't know she don't know. So I'm like, okay. I remember he specifically hit me up one day. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, we're tired of sleeping. Because I can't let this bug bug at that point. It's going on for a minute. Like, nah, I, I, was, I, was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, a month, like, three. I was just starting. Month three? <laughs> Understand. Now after a while, he's always like, 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 like after the month, after the first month, he had he had the keys to the crib. Yeah, he 
my crib. He still do. That's what, that's what so, I'm saying. Like, he was so I after a while, so then once that happened, I think in the second month, we went, I think we went to your, your aunt's crib, like, yeah. and then we was chilling, and then we went to go to the food, and he was like, yo, honestly, bro, I just told him time saying that shit. And he was like, it's not that I don't want to do it, but you just be dead all the time. And I can't help you if you're not gonna let me help you. And I was like, because my thing is I feel helpless now. I can't, can't thing, do like, it. Like, Damn. Which is a selfish. You reason. gotta want the help. I ended up. I ended you up. You gotta like, want the help. You can't help somebody who don't want to help themselves. At that point, I, ended up, I took that last month and I was like, alright, but yeah, so then that's I what that, I handled that shit and then came around. He's like, there we go. Because <laughs> I, I, like I said, bro, everybody gonna go through it. Like, you know what I mean? Like. So and even though, like, even though me personally, I saw I possibly couldn't solve my own shit, but I feel like I can help probably help you get to get out your shit, which you probably, even though probably won't. You just gotta help, help me. You gotta do need, need, you, need, you, need, you need to want the help, but like, you need to ask for the help. Like you have every to, day, yeah. nigga. Like, yeah, bro, yeah, come bro. on, I can't. Nah, I'll feel it. <laughs> So yeah, at a certain point, you just gotta really just. I mean, that's the thing. That depression at its core. Like, if you can yeah. get over it in one day, the shit wouldn't be that big of a fucking epidemic. Yeah. 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 That's why I tried to like make sure, like, show with depression. Me? Yeah. No, no, no yeah. Because like I know like, oh, that's like, a yeah. serious thing. But, like Leon said, I feel like that's like when when out so often. About it. It. When we first started talking yeah. about it, depression, is literally a series of sad states, like continuous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not like just one day. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like yo, every day you wake up, you like. No, and it's not just like an hour of I mean, it, it's like an actual what is it? It's a persistent depressive disorder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, honestly. Um, and but like we said, we do like you reach out to your friends little by little, try to um tell them something. Okay? Check on your like, strong friends. Break on your yeah. strong yeah. friends. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause, Cause I was quote unquote the advice friend for I remember everyone. Yeah, I remember that. It's crazy yeah. it's crazy because it should have fucked you up because I already remember like um as far as like even like with my fucking heart, like, I can feel mm-hmm. that shit like pain. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's like, like if you could feel that, and like that would be the thing that I start noticing. That's what I'm like, I gotta get out of this, cause I'm like, cause I remember I kept I was going to this bag every day, and like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, okay, maybe it's I'm like, nah, it's not. It's not nothing to do with the food I'm eating. Mm-hmm. It's just literally just me. It's my mind that's putting that on my heart. My heart is like, cause the heart rate is continuously stressed. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta limit like the amount of energy you put into somebody. It's really it's it's like notice like I mean, I haven't said this is myself. I mean, it, it, in my mm-hmm. situation, it wasn't into somebody. It was like, how do I put it? Like, I, I, I you need to you evoke people. Breathe. You witnessed that too. Yeah. Like, you, how to you breathe, witnessed so. the unraveling, so to speak. Word. So I'm used to I'm really big ass on the face. I'm used. I'm not even that. Like, like I'm, I'm really good at keeping up a face. Oh, I'm super good. Yeah, I could be. You feel me, like? I was with you the day my grandmother was being buried. And what would get me upset? You couldn't right? even tell. What, 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 what would get me upset? Nah, I would tell. But I'm saying, though, I'm I saying, would you ask can... you, I'd be like, yo, Leon, you good? Do you want to take a break? Do you want to just go mad talk? He'd be like, nah, I'm all right. We, I would text him. Nah, I'm all right. Nah, I'm about to that day. I'm like, yo, bro, you I'm sure? Saying, I'm you saying, sure? those are the days. It's cool. What, those yeah. are the days where I didn't care to keep a face. But I'm saying there's been many times where it's just like the world is fucking burning around me. I don't know if you know. And I'm just like, nah, Miss Miss Patterson, it's all right. I'm gonna take care of you. you know, now how your day going? And that, that, and that, you know what I mean? And the crazy thing is, I'll be texting. That. Yo, you bro, should, you should, you should, bro. Since like, nah, bro, you shouldn't do bro, that either. Bro, I'll be next to him, bro. I'm t- and, and, and I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, right? Because usually it'd be like either we go to work, either usually I come to work upset. He come to work cool, but if he leaving, like if it's like 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, he fucked up in the mind, it's over. And like, you got it, right? So I'm like, all right, bro, you sure you want to take up? Just go, go somewhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. I, you be like, no, 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 no. It'd be very rare when he, when, 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 when he's here, I'm telling you, be like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be like, two out of the 10 times I'm asking. But that's like, yo, bro, go ahead. It's like, but that's the thing, that's what I'm talking about. You saying you come in mad, I come in good. I don't be good when I come in sometimes. That's what I'm saying. But you the think nasty, I am nasty, the nasty, that, okay. the nasty yeah, problem. Yeah. That's not a that's not a, a good solution, you know what I'm saying? That just delays everything because like your man's gonna know how to help you now, so nah, it's, exactly. It's, 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 that's what I was going at when you said you gotta want the help. That, that that's why I can't we I, can't do that sometimes. I feel that. But you, I, I, the thing is sacrifice but like at the same time. 
check with your friend and another time also be like, yo, I just want like a late day, a late time, just be like, yo, I'm also going through some shit too. It's like it has to be an exchange, literally. But that comes with that comes with the territory of one being black and being a man. So it's you don't get that you don't get that space to be vulnerable. You can't be because there's so much shit trying to tear you down with a baby. You can't really show that chink in the armor. Yeah. So to speak. Yo, know, sometimes walk alone let it down, bro. How about you? Like what about you you got into those uh like those times when you black another person. Like, how was that for you? I just need my own world, bro. It's like 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 same thing you would say, like you would try to do shit like you get online. Like them days when we online, and we just online the whole day or, or or it used to be basketball. Like I really used to be really playing ball like all day type shit. If something happened to me or the case and be, I'm just ignoring it. Cause I'm with Caribbean parents, so, so if I tell them like, you know what I'm saying, somebody's trying to rob me or the case may be, I can't tell them that cause they like, what the fuck? So you, you can't go outside anymore, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's shit like that, it's like, I'm like 13, I don't understand. All right, cool, I'm not gonna say that, I understand like, they come from like, they're around family oriented and shit, like, that shit don't really happen to them. If it do happen to them, they got like eight siblings to back them up. That, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a, my only child, you know what I'm saying? The only person I really got to talk to is like, say like my friends, but when I see them at school, so you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I've always been that like loner per se that you would say. Like yeah, I've had the same friends, but just like you never really like just like talked about some shit that happened. We just like just distract ourselves, whether it be like women or or shit we doing sports. You know what I'm saying? Like the game. Like so I never really dealt with shit, but like trying to like think about ways to like work it out. Every day is a learning process, honestly. Yeah, it's see. just like it's just like but like I try to take it in as like if one of my mans is asking me, I'm alright. Usually I still, not until the time I still say I'm alright. But I tell you like a week later. Like yeah I I, I, like, I would never say shit when shit happened on the spot. It'd be like a couple of shit that happened then I express it. That's how I probably, that's how I get it out. Cause then I like ramble, I'll word vomit, I'll case word vomit and just say everything and take whatever you gotta tell me. Then I just think about it, try to process it. I try to process shit better. But yeah, I try to like from, 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 it used to be just playing basketball and now I went to music. So music, I kind of let my shit out in music. Listening to it, not really writing shit down like you. Listening to it, calm myself down, then I just get back into it, like whatever I'm doing. I don't be really trying to stay in that space to be fucked up for too long. Give it a buck, like. You should, you should, you should, yeah. strive, you should strive to like get out, get out in a healthy manner. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you try I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask, like, like, you know, like, how would y'all say that the things that were once um, had you in those states, would y'all say that y'all have gotten? I don't want to say you've gotten over it. Well, I'd say it gotten over it, where it's to the point it doesn't put you there anymore and like hold your mind captive. Wait, do you still got the same triggers? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is this something that your mind still keeps falling back to and still puts you into that spelling thing? Like, or have you faced it and now you're like, okay, I'm going to go over you. I'm going to. I think I told you. And if so, how did you get to that spot? So, real quick. Um, I'm like, y'all know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I can beat myself up a lot. So like, be so what? beat myself up a lot, like mentally. Like I think about the shit that I've done, I fucked up on, I, I reflect on it. And instead of going to reflect it, then it goes into like a whole like, self-deprecating kind of action. Can go, it can go to that if I let it. So usually I try to just reflect, write it down. Like, deprecation. Self-deprecation. <laughs> nah, some people might not. Nah, you right, you right. <laughs> it's not even this whole post. It's not even this whole yeah. post. No, hey, it's like, why do that when you explain it? No, but it's, it's, it's like, like you read it's your like own words. It's like how you try to sneak in. 
to let you explain that. <laughs> the film goes, can you, can you, can you go into that? I heard Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> That's why his name on my phone is Dr. Phil as it. No, so, um, so self-deprecation, deprecation is sense like dismantling that, basically. Like, you dismantle yourself, your character, because of, I was doing it because of the shit I've done. And I wasn't getting over it. That's not really handling it. It's just more so just being in that space and, that, and like being in your shit. You know what I mean? So now I feel like I'm better at it. I said, I'm not better at self deprecation but I'm, I'm better at thinking about the things because I'm learning that at the end of the day, like life goes on, not the shit that you've done. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the shit you've done is in the past. And you can move forward from that. You know what I'm saying? You just got, it's, it's a work in progress. Like you said, it's an everyday thing. I kind of feel like I've kind of done the same thing. Um, by Something deprecating? Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely that. Um, you got a new word. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. That was me and Max can explain it. Never be afraid to ask questions, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, definitely. Um, no, I'm No, but I'm um, Yo, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna say? Um, never being afraid to, huh? Never being afraid to, afraid to. Yeah, you got finish what you said. And then you need to interrupt the man. Let the man. Oh, oh. Yeah. Speed, what he was at? <laughs> 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 How you get mad at me for the whole word? No, I. Say he's getting mad at him because he took you off okay? <laughs> Yeah. Um, nah, I would definitely say, yeah, same thing, you know, like, because it, sometimes, like, you kind of, like, beat yourself up about things you've done. Um, you kind of fall into a hole of regret, mm-hmm. wondering how things would be if you didn't do it. A rabbit hole. Yeah. And, but one thing I felt like that's helped me to get that out is definitely writing about it, journaling, just anything, like... I don't even doing that. You gotta get on some journal shit. Yeah, bro, like, listen. See, it's that. Because the thoughts just flow. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 there's no... Especially when you in that yo, moment. You just, it's raw, yeah. so you just go on, and it, it starts to make sense. Like, what you say, like, fuck this... However you want, because yeah. it's, your, it's your journal. It's your journal. Complete you can complete sentences. It starts, It could be letters, like... It could be scattering, bro. Yeah, You can doodle in this shit, bro. How you feel? I think you journal. Better. Way better. Way better, bro. Because then now I know what bothered, we know what bothered us, mm-hmm. and we pieced it together. And like now, instead of like how Dom say, having to go to your friends all this every single time, yeah. I can just go in my journal. And then I'll be able to, when I come in, yeah, I can be able to address what I felt because I know how I feel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You buy it, so I buy you. Because sometimes you just, mm-hmm. like, don't even be knowing just mm-hmm. how to first start with vocalizing it. Like, that mean, mm-hmm. like, okay, how do I even shit? How do I even come to Leo? How do I come to Nate? How do I even say, you know, how we're trying to get it out. I don't even know how to, like, it's just. So. I think the most difficult part of that be in being the person that I am, being welcoming and whatever. I, I have a, a, I have a gist of what you're going through. So I'll be damned if I come, if you just spoke to me about some shit on Tuesday, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going to pull up on you on Friday with my shit. You know what I mean? It's just, it's I just see, not I, something I, 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 I see the consideration, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can see the consideration. So you, you might tell us, so to, to get back to, um, Boom. yeah, because I was, because you just said, so is that like when you, um, because you're your opposite actor, so that's how you put it into like, the play of uh, scene writing? Um, um, yeah, I would say lately, that that's actually something I've, I've figured that, even though it's like the past couple weeks, it's something like, because I will say like, I've kind of been triggered, um, by a specific episode that I had watched from um, Euphoria. Euphoria, yeah. So like, it was kind of triggering because it kind of just like made me start thinking about how I felt in my life and like... What was that though? Huh? What was that though? Oh, the, oh, my fault. So it was a special episode with Rue. I'm not sure if you guys... Uh, yeah. When she was tripping out? Like when she was going... I've never seen it. I hear it's really good. It's the latest episode that came out. I was back. Oh, I got what the yeah, yeah, they have like a special episode dedicated to her. Mm. Um, in it, she's I'm not gonna spoil it, but um, throughout it, you hear her talking. It's somewhat like a therapy session, and like it's just it, it was a bit triggering to see, but like yeah, it was something that I realized can help me because I can do the same thing and put my have my life experience out on the screen, and it's like it's just the same way as I feel inclined to do something like that, someone else could feel that too. Right. Um, like with me telling my story, and I kind of felt like that's something that um, 
could definitely help out. So that's something I'm just like in the process of writing this thing. Is that why you asked me to send the shit to you? Yeah, part part of why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do you do you like diverse and whatever? Like like something you acted. Do you like going to that round two? See, like to fill it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say back into those states. Yeah, you know? yeah, definitely. Because like, because sometimes it can be tied to the character, and like, you're literally as an actor. Yeah, you're, yeah. It's a very hard job, honestly. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. But how do you, you know, really yeah. navigate which feelings to to bring out, not bring out, mm-hmm. or say, say in a certain tone? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's literally you gotta keep a journal on each character. Write about who, what, where, when, how this character is, how they walk, how so you they talk. Pre- so you prepare that way before. Literally everything, even their own thought process throughout acting. Like you have to have an inner dialogue or inner monologue as you're saying things to help creating that character. Exactly. That's really like that shit. Yeah, every yeah, day. Yeah, 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 you saying this for theater academy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, I, I get where you come from. So about there was a point in time where I was doing a drama thing, but uh-huh. I was gonna ask you. Um, can you cry on cue? I mean, I for the past couple of weeks, I can say yes. Um, beforehand, that's only because it's easily accessible. Is because I can think about my depression and things I felt. Yeah, me too. Because yeah, it's easy, it's it's easy to get to now. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't cry on cue. I I remember the first time I was able to make myself cry on cue. Mm-hmm. And like as an adult, but clearly you can do that shit as a child, but like as an adult-ish, I remember the first time, it was like, it was a lot of different things going on behind the scenes. And I was watching a show called Scrubs, some doctor shit, and it was like supposed to be one of their last episodes. And they were going through the finale with him. And that kind of like triggered mad shit within myself. Yeah. And the thing that kept playing in my head was- I just started doing it, I ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> shit that kept playing in my head over and over was, everything ends, mm-hmm. everything has an end, everything comes to a close. Mm-hmm. And it kept going and I felt it, I'm like, oh shit, hold on. And then like I forced it out and I was able to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a weird feeling. Yo, bro, that's what I was about to say. Remember I told you, I was watching, I was watching the show and it was a certain scene that happened. And when it happened with him, like it was like literally I was at work and it was like my eyes started blowing. I was like, what the fuck? And then from that moment, it was just like my mind, I just lost all grips of like my mental. It was just like my mental was just like mm-hmm. everything. I'm going back to when I was six and I'm about fucking 12. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck, like this yeah. shit. It's crazy how your mind makes those connections like that when mm-hmm. shit starts happening. Yeah. Does that ever happen to you? Like shit like that? Like obviously, I know you said with the show, mm-hmm. like certain things that would happen and just trigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, there you go. That's a word for that. I think it's, it's dysphagia or something like that. Oh, you just, you may see something, boom. It's, it, just, it's just like a, it's kind of like a sensory overload in a sense where like, yeah something happens and it triggers a memory or a sense so kind of like okay if you see a picture of your grandma's cooking you can instantly taste it oh you mm. sent me that you sent me, that. Sent you you sent me that you sent me that um you sent me that that was when this shit happened you sent it you sent it to me really yeah mm. but um yeah so not to go too far so like how, how do y'all when y'all go to y'all shit you said writing you mm-hmm. music writing or do you have other things that nah, you do? I would say journaling at first, because I'll be real with you, like, I can't create when I'm in that, like, sad <laughs> state. Yo, yeah. I can't create when I'm in that sad state, because that sad state, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm probably thinking about, like I said, like, I'm thinking about what I've done, you know, like, in action, so it's kind of like, I gotta get that out first. Like, I gotta get the, um, how, you know, you said, like, uh, the blah, like, the vomit. Mm-hmm. of it out, you know what I'm saying, so I can have clear, coherent thoughts, so I can create what I want to create, you know what I mean? So I just, I usually just journal, I'll probably just talk to y'all about the shit, to be honest with you. That's how I had my Yeah, well, oh, I was gonna say. No, it was like how you bringing up, you know, like I said, like, with, with me, it's not really writing music, it's really listening to music, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's like, if it's like something really going on with me, case may be, at that moment, I'm getting to my space or whatever, blast my music, you know how I don't listen to music low. So even when it's that high, it's even higher, right? So I listen to music, 
blast whatever song and really get that frustration out to where like I'm like you know like like you ever like heard a song and you know every word and it make you even gas because you like damn but mm-hmm. you go on that hard for like four minutes straight I'm doing that consistently for maybe like twenty minutes mm-hmm. get that frustration out case maybe I probably like just like talk shit out within myself. Just yeah, like either verbally, out. like verbally, speak. yeah, like verbally speak it up. I'll put it like, but, but within myself though, like not really like to somebody. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 that's yeah. what I'm saying. He was like verbally, just yeah, and like myself. get it out within myself, you know, and then just chill out because at, at that point I'm no longer angry because I already got that anger out because I'm listening to like that music that get me like that, like that way. So that's off, and then I'm just like. Cool it for a minute because, like I said, I don't try to keep myself in that space for too long. You shouldn't. I feel like that's the worst thing. It's like, I don't say you shouldn't. It happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah it, it happens, but I try to, like, really, 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 really hard to stay away from that mind state because you can only control what you keep yourself into. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you want your day to be bad, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. You know what I'm saying? Have a blessed day, fellas. What if I want to have a blessed day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the thing that you said that I said that a lot, so I, was like, I don't know what he joking about. I don't know if he was joking. Nah, I was joking. Yeah, so it's like it's like so. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know he was joking. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, I remember it was like, it was crazy. I said that. I was like, probably taking this a whole different. I didn't reply until like Dom replied. He was like, Nah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all guys have a blessed day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Nah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all guys have a blessed day. Make sure today because I don't know if we had a discussion then before we got off line. That's that day before. Yeah, you told me what was going on. I told you make sure tomorrow is a better day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, then he said, nah, 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 all the jokes aside, y'all be cool. Well, okay, so now I'm taking it as a joke. <laughs> First, nobody responds for an hour. I'm like, oh shit. I don't know what to say. Is this, is this a plan? Yeah, I don't know what to say, but yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I try, I try to get myself out of that situation for like an hour or two hours, but then, you know what I'm saying? I try not to keep myself there because I feel like if I keep myself upset, I'm gonna stay upset. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, sure. in that moment, I'm all I got. So it's not like, Shoot, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like, even though if I reach out to you, right? Yeah, it's big I'm calm. The most you can do is give me words of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's cool. But for me, I need a physical presence or where like, all right, you feel this way, bro? I know we'll probably make you better. You know what I'm saying, let's go shoot some hoops or let's go play pool. Well, let's go. You know, let's go outside. I don't have that at that moment. So I know for me, it's whatever I make of it. So try to just listen to music, get that shit out, talk within myself, go on to the next day. You know what I'm saying? Most likely tomorrow, I'm not gonna feel the same way. Most likely. That's the goal tonight. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. I I always feel like I remember one time I told a person. Sometimes it's good to have those. Moments of like when you break, just break down. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's great, and I, I had a friend upon that too. It was like, like you crying. That's tough. Or like you, you like. If you break down, my my interpretation of breaking down is like you're crying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 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 like, I mean, you're just completely just so like some yeah, people bro. like you're just coming apart. I feel like sometimes you have to, you you have to come apart. You mean, yeah. Like that's why I think when that happened on that train, that was when it was like because. Like I said before, I ignored it for so long. So it's like that coming apart right there was like, well, nigga, you you need to address this. this sir. You have to address this. Address this. This not good. Like you don't want to have ever have this feeling again. So you got to do whatever it is. So like you know, meditating. Like you know, I just turned because like when I went home, when I got home. Like I turned the shower on, but I couldn't get in the shower. I was just sitting on the floor, just sitting there, just like just sitting on the floor. Like what the fuck? Like the, the shit steaming. I'm just like, bro. Like, nah, like, my heart's still beating crazy. Like, my heart, like, literally feel like it's fucking squeezing at this point. And, like, now I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on? And then... Nah, no, I was going to say yeah. No, nah, I was going to say, if you, if you ever catch yourself, like, doing that, like, recently, like I said, I've been having depressive states. If you ever do that, honestly, though, take a hot shot, right? Take peppermint oil, like, the, the, the essential oil, and, like, wipe it on the wall. The it's an aromatherapy kind of thing. So basically, yeah. what it does, it opens up your chest, like because it's like this in a sense. Mm. It opens up your chest, it makes you breathe better, and just breathe, bro. Take a shot and just breathe. Yeah, that's what I was. I was just doing like control. Bro, bro. Yeah, like, really see. try that shit. That shit helps a lot. You feel refreshed when you get. Yeah, cause I was just doing like a lot of control, breathe, bro. Cause I was like, I don't know what the fuck. 
you, know, you, you like you said, you feel that heaviness mm-hmm. on your chest and your heart. You feel it. So when you do the, when you do the peppermint shit, I tell you, I'm telling you right now, y'all do that shit, y'all feel a little bit better. I it was even getting to the point where I went to sleep. I was scared to go to sleep. I'm like, bro, I don't want to sleep. I don't know what the fuck, bro. It's gonna happen. <laughs> when you when you when you said that, I'm laughing right because. I remember when I was young, whatever the case may be, and like, it's like you got something going on with you, right? I remember my parents would be like, so bro, what you read? You have to read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, can read, you bro, read. Don't meditate, read and meditate. That, that'd get your mind right. I'm like, <laughs> right? It's like, I thought I'm laughing, I'm smiling when you said what you said because like, you got, I remember I had some shit going on at school, the case may be in. Read. Fuck, you ain't got it. My bad, I just don't try to topic, but. Nah, you was like, why you smiling? Nah, I was just like. Why you smiling? Right? It was, it was, it was that that yeah, came to my mind. Nah, nah, nah. nah, I mean, to take back off of that, for me, when I get in those situations, well, for one, my definition of breakdown is a little bit different than yours. If, like, you fully express it, you say it's crying, for me, breakdown is really like close to what Dom said, like, your bodily function, your body doesn't function the way it normally does, or like, you can't, don't really have control of yourself. Yeah, right. like, that's, so it's like, that's, the phone would be like, my phone's in my like this, like, literally, imagine this whole screen just getting blurry, you can't see the five and yeah. four, like, my eyes just, and then, like, the shit's like, I'm trying to text, the shit just keeps falling, like, but, like, I have it like this, it just keeps falling, I'm like, what the fuck, like, it's just, yeah. as I'm trying to text him, like, I can't really it's see the what the fuck I'm texting, it's the worst I just, like, the next the day, yeah, like, the next day I have to go back, like, what the fuck did I send him, like, because mm-hmm. I just literally just didn't you know, I, t- I just started texting, mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean, like, it just, you know what I'm saying, I don't know if you went through that shit, but, like, that is the worst feeling in the world, I've literally been in a state where I can't move, I can't see like you know when like you, the old TVs when you put it on it's not clear to the cable it's just mm-hmm. static. Mm-hmm. My vision was literally static. I could hear and shit like that. Yeah. But I couldn't see anything. It's like you numb and disconnected. Yeah. Numb yeah. Everything. Completely. But when I um that that thing that's breaking down for me. But as far as like in an oppressive state, how I deal with things is very like heavily on meditation and like being and feeling my emotions mm-hmm. in a sense where I know you said you don't want to stay in that state for me it helps me to once I'm there if I leave it it's gonna be very hard for me to like touch that shit again you know what I mean so if I have a moment me meditating and putting myself back in that mind state and feeling it working through it understanding why I feel this way what I did, what I didn't do, why this person's actions made me feel this way, things like that. And then I guess being very particular and being aware of my of my body. So that's where okay, you see when we spent the night um the night in Jersey, next morning you saw me, I was doing my whole stretching thing. Stretching and breathing and like being in touch with my body, that's a form, a form of therapy for me. And personally, right? I seen him do. He was cutting himself short. He was stretching. He was cutting himself short. Yeah, got pizza. I was like, I you, felt, ain't, you ain't, you're not doing it because you feel subconscious. Yeah, I felt like I felt someone you watches you. Someone yeah, yeah. watches you. Yeah, yeah, I was like, we're not doing it, all, bro. bro. What, what, what happened to the back stretching and this? <laughs> nah. I know how I seen it. How he get it get it in. He wasn't really getting it in. You know, he wasn't like, really like, not particular nah. with the purpose of it. I feel like there's this health benefits as far as like your blood pressure and stuff like that stretching. So I saw yeah, anybody yeah. talk to me like, oh yo, yo stretch when you stretch when you wake up, stretch before you go to sleep. That big room? No, so even like I know you I had know. said something um, that day. Like you was like, um, what was it you said? You said uh, you you didn't want to be sad no more. Something like that. You just want to live. You want to feel. Like, yeah, like, I can't remember so, exactly what you said. But when he said yo, that, <laughs> like now, nah, like when he said that though, like such something like that. As you sound it like it's could. simple, but it's like it's true. Like you know, he was like, he's like, yeah, I just realized. Like, I was like, how did you? Because he told me like certain stuff he was going through, and I was like, how the fuck did you like? Cause I, I don't see how the fuck to get the fuck. He's like, I just told myself like, I don't want to be like sad no more. I just want to just like live. And I'm like, 
when he said that, remember I checked us, thank you. I ain't say nothing else, there's no question. It was like, cause it clicked right there. I'm like, sometimes you just fall a prisoner of certain shit That's so certain much. Shit. And it's not even like trying to be the whole positive shit. It's like, yo, like I'm, this has happened, right? I cannot, like you said before, the past ain't gonna, it's not, the past is like, the past is the past, it's there. Like, it's, it's never gonna it's change never gonna what's change. happened, happen, right? So you have to come to grips with this, but at the same time, you understand, if you staying stuck here, you're not progressing nowhere else That's in life. Absurd, yeah. You know what I mean? That's like playing the same level, like the same, like you unlock so many different levels of life, but you stay on the same level. You don't ever go Until to you. level eight, level nine, level 10. So if I'm staying here, I can't figure out what else, or I'm, I can't grow because I'm just stuck here. So mm -hmm. he said that, I'm just like, nah, all oh, right, yeah, that's like I, I can't remember exactly what the fuck you said, like, to be honest, but I remember something like that, and I was just like, it was um, I'm not even hundred percent, because I feel like when I spoke to you is kind of when I was finally able to put it into words, mm -hmm. which is crazy, because like I said before, I, sometimes I really feel like God just really just feeding me the words sometimes, mm -hmm. but. It, and it just anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was like you said, uh, I kind of decided one day I just want to be normal. I want to feel sad when some sad shit happens. I want to cry. Yeah, I want to actually. Yeah, I was going to do it if he did. Yeah, I want to I wanna actually no, live. Yeah, I'm not going to go everything say. I just want to actually live. And then he was like, if you deny, if, if we say if the lows are a sign that you've been high, if you deny the lows, the highs don't feel as good. Yeah, feel as good. Yeah. It's like, that's, like, that's a, that's real shit. And they okay. really, I know, I don't really look at that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you hit a low point, that means you was once, yeah, like, you was, you, was, you was somewhere to mm -hmm. get there. Like, now, for you to feel sad that you had to have been happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like, you want to feel that again. Going off of that, I had seen a video. It said, it was talking about sadness in itself, and sadness is not a bad thing because. Who Butters? Feel, huh? Who Butters? From uh, South Park? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember that shit. But I'm like, yo, that shit, it clicked. It was so crazy. But it was like, never feel bad about your sadness because you feel so. You love life so much that you feel so sad about something. And it's like. It, it, it was just something that's like, it might not be that's, nah, that's actually like you might say it like I shut the fuck up like but then when you when think you about it it's it, like yeah. it's true I'd be like yo fuck the nigga and be sad and okay. care I don't say it's for the nigga but all I know is like the past is for is for reference not for residence that's what I'm thinking what the fuck we got going on nigga, in here today like what we got going on <laughs> what we got cause I cut that was it niggas <laughs> came out T-shirt. <laughs> we put that up. Matter of fact, we copyright it. If I see any oh, motherfuckers, he has to say these things. Past is a place for reference, not for rest. That's going on. That's going on the grand tonight. That's why you're the poet. <laughs> That's going on the grand tonight. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't make up. Uh, Nick was the one who told me that shit. I asked about that. That's what I'm. Nah, Nick was the one who told me about that shit because I was going to. Yo, it was the shit that was happening. Um, 2017, 2018. Huh? That whole shit, junior year. What? That whole shit was going on with me and um. Sad person. Oh, bro. Oh, and oh. I was telling him, he's like, yo, you oh. gotta stop living in that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cause just, remember that girl, day at the yeah, yeah. Houston gym? Son, this nigga, that day was crazy. Yeah. But yeah, man, just don't. Real quick, what, what does it mean? What does it mean? It's on. I mean, it's just recording. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Cause I asked, oh, I don't want blinking. But what I'm thinking, oh, oh, I think it's cause these are different. Those are different, those are camp court. I'm sorry. You good? You just make a show. Mm -hmm. sure. I appreciate it. I think the battery low enough to yeah. my shit. Yeah, I'm Yeah, so like, you know, we just, yeah. overall, the pressure is we have to learn, we have to learn how to move forward. Nah, like, say how everything you're saying, though, because you was on, you was on the box. The pressure, you said the pressure is a place for the, <laughs> the past is a place for reference and not residence, you know what I'm saying? Once you, once you start living in it, and it, you have to basically, I read, I, I saw this post, basically, you have to be, you don't, you don't, you don't, not only do you have to be at peace with what you've done, you have to be, be at peace with the person who once were doing that action. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Because that was just a version of you in that life, in that part of your life. Like, 
you're at a different point now, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you don't want to do those same things or repeat those same actions or go somewhere else with it. Like, you want to go, you you're not, you now have to make peace with that old person you were and now come to acceptance with the person you are. You're going to be a villain in somebody's story regardless, no matter what you try to do or not. You know, like, it's, it, it sucks too, because like, it might be people you actually really fucked with, people, someone you might have heard of that you really love, but it happens, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean stop living, that doesn't mean stop trying. You know what I'm saying? Life, like you said, it's an everyday thing. Like, you only get one life. So think of every day as like, you don't get a game over until basically death. So honestly, you should really keep trying. Right. All the time, you know and, and even like with that, like I always, cause you know, obviously I know I like watching like action movies and all that stuff, but there's always points in times, even when, like in the highest peak forms of those like movies or shows, there's always those moments when like, there's like this, that, sadness like darkness within it and like sometimes seeing that and then seeing how the movie ends and how the movie goes from here to here you like oh nah that's tough and even like some of our favorite artists basketball players musicians they've all hit those lows before and they got through it and i'm like when, I, when you start looking at shit like that obviously you don't compare yourself to them because obviously it's different states this motherfucker mm -hmm. but um yeah, so yeah, obviously you don't, you know, you don't compare yourself to them because you don't, you, because like, you know, it's a different space in life, but you see that and you're like, you have to, sometimes you also, you don't give yourself enough credit, like you're like, all of us are strong, we've all been through a lot of stuff, so you're strong, you've gotten through a lot of stuff before, and I remember like, I used to always hear in church, like God didn't get, like the way people say, God didn't bring me this far to leave me now, so when I started thinking about stuff like that, like, okay, like that's a fact. Like I, I, he didn't. Like I didn't get all the way here. So then it just like melt and crumble. You know what I mean? Like I've gotten here through a lot of shit before. So now this is just another one of those times where I have to just continuously to keep mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. And like from there, like even when, like I would look at it, I start pushing in sports. You know what I mean? Like there was ever a team that I couldn't beat or a person I couldn't beat. I just started grinding harder, like training harder. So when the obstacle comes back up again, I would like, I play one on one. Now I'm cooking you. And that's how I just started looking at like my problem. Like, all right, now we gotta run that back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I went through that before. Right, I'm gonna go in the lab. I'm gonna get myself right. Mm -hmm. then, you feel me? Next time that shit come, it's gonna be nothing. Mm -hmm. it's Twenty one zip. Pay me my hundred. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> like pay me my hundred. So like, I start putting myself in like like situations like that. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, yeah I'm going through this, but. Not and not even in like a like a pocket. I'm just like I went through this, but I just gotta be real with myself. Like yeah, nigga, you went through that, bro. Like, hey, it's all right. Shit happened. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's all right. Like it's all right for anybody. A lot of people gonna go through this and like yeah, you're no different than anybody else. Yeah. And I think sometimes we never think certain. Like we obviously always know anything can happen to us, but we don't think those lows can happen to us. Yeah. Like we we live that on such a high, we don't think that that could happen. Mm -hmm. So then when that shit happens, we're like fucked up because it was like oh I didn't predict this. That's life, and it's like, oh shit, how the fuck did I get? Cause it's foreign. You never picture that, cause nobody pictures that stuff. But it's like now that I'm here, what am I gonna do? Like, am I gonna stay here? Or am I gonna try to get back to where I once was? And I think the beauty of it is when you're able to look back, like, yo, three months ago I remember I was here. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at the first. Look who the person came out of it. Right. So you're just going through what another person has gone through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nobody has gone through, like, you're not the Everybody's first. Everybody's been through everything. Yeah. How you handle this can be different. You're not the first. Right. So make that, literally with your life, just make make your story worth living, mm -hmm. worth telling. You know what I mean? Like, that's it, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, just you like I didn't think. Like in the beginning, it was kind of hard against that that topic, but like, <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. It was, but like we came through it on some natural shit. And that that yeah. cause you gotta get that up. Like as we always say, especially with like your friends. Sometimes even on camera, like you know, you you gotta just. And even if it's not okay, you just gotta be able to get, be vulnerable. I think that's another thing too. Vulnerability scares mm -hmm. a lot of people. Yeah, Whether yeah. relationships, friendships, yeah. by yourself, like that's your that's greatest strength. Honestly. Also, yeah. Also, also, I feel like it's the main thing to like just, just to keep in your mind, like you ain't alone. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Because like, I always feel like you're alone. Like you if you're going point. through some yeah. shit, bro, and like you feel like it's people out there that really care. No matter if you feel like personally, if you feel like you don't want to. Harbor they they they, they mind space or right. keep them away from something because obviously that's, that's what we said we, we all um, feel that way at certain times when we try to take some some stuff out. 
you got to understand who's real and who's really about you and who won't put you in that space to make you feel like what you're saying is not really connecting to how they feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't, that they don't give you that space of freedom to be like, okay, let me know how you feel and that'd be the best advice I can give you, right? Because that's, that's that role for me, that's really what it is. It's like some, most, outside of my friends, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that I don't just talk to y'all, but other people is like, okay, I know I can't say this to this person, so, you know what I'm saying? But that, me saying that, I'd fuck up my mind and say, if I wanna say something to you, hopefully, my mind's hopefully you think that I'm not, Oh, say some shit to me, for love. Exactly. But like, right? some people don't, but some people don't really, Got that. Except like, even like if you look at it like like now, right? Like when when it, like with the seat, like you talk about like seasonal depression. It's a lot of people that felt that way, and like the biggest thing was the fact yeah, that it's, yeah, I feel like especially with this year, like people didn't years, have yeah, loved right. ones. People didn't have a lot of loved ones that didn't make it to Christmas and yeah. Thanksgiving this year. Yeah. So like, and they're going through that, and you got to be in the house. Can't really have nobody over because some people have elderly people in their home. So you're just in that and you're like in that space by yourself. Like you might not have necessarily the people you can go to. Like I said before, like I was used to every Thursday I'm with these niggas. Like it was like it wasn't no if, ands, or buts. Unless something happened. We used to get that every Thursday, so now I don't have that Thursday. So that Thursday where I know if I make it through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday solid, I know Thursday we about to we about to just vibe out. I don't got that anymore. It's so, okay, what what day am I making it to now? I don't know what did that day gonna be now. It's like, okay, if you're gonna be four, what people are gonna be four? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's tough. So, so the last conversation you're doing down on the P4s, and that's a fact. That's, that's a fact. That's, that's, fact. that's, that's that that's our phone call. It's like, real shit be getting. That's why somebody should give me one. A P5. <laughs> Listen, I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> So I, say, I still don't got No, hey man, maybe one still of us got a few bucks. Maybe one of us can use a lot. Use a lot. Fuck yeah, it's Kev got a few bucks. What? Kev yeah. got a few bucks. Nah, bro, yeah, bro. Kev got one. Yeah, bro. I'm getting this myself P5 before I get any of y'all P5. Oh, what you should, King? Yeah. I ain't even from the top of the You shouldn't even have to get yourself one. Somebody exactly. should buy it for you. I don't know who get this. That's neither here nor there. But you know. Yeah. But that's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't here. That ain't there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For anything. Shout out Des, you did something you didn't need to do, and I appreciate you. Oh, I'm, oh, that, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I told you, you're real. That, real, real. I don't know what they're talking about with facts. Same. It's a real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's the first of the fact. Yeah. You tell them. Like, it's such an hour. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She, yeah, she, 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 I'm saying, so yeah, it's going it's, on, it's, but you're a real one. <laughs> <laughs> but now, though, the real thing, though, if any of y'all, you know, y'all ever going through something, y'all need an ear, y'all obviously got here, y'all got 10 ears in this room. Thank you, you know, okay. I'm partially got them left. <laughs> This fight can't be real with these niggas. But these not, yeah. niggas? What do you mean by these niggas and stuff? These young African American you. men. Uh, uh, <laughs> nah, but, you know what I mean? Like, or even not even just like, just us, just find some way, some space that y'all can like, deal with, like, you know, face y'all problems. Cause I was like, I said, we said before, and a lot of people going through, they've been going through it this year. Um, especially with these holiday seasons, like a lot of people was going through that. And like, some people just genuinely feel alone. Like I know it's one shorty, like mentally she was just not like, I was like a last resort text message that she has. Oh. And like, oh, I'm not saying people last resort, I'm just saying like she had to go to that. You know what I mean? Because like, I was just because she just felt like either People that she was, she could have with it wouldn't be receptive or whatever the case may be. Like, in like, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Well, like, really her family not. and why her family, her family isn't really the best option to go to, per se. So she's in a house with a lot of people. It's kind of like what we were talking about before. You could be in a space with a lot of people, but still just feel alone. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's how she has like a full house, like six, seven people, but she's in there feeling alone. She's going through a lot. And like, I was telling her, like, you gotta just, you know, it's kind of hard to do. Like, probably gotta just 
try to face it. Like, you know, you got to find whatever it works. I can tell you meditation. I can tell you prayer. I can tell you, but you have to, one, you have to try to understand where it's coming from first. Like, where the problem is coming from. Like, some people, like, I knew before you talk about, like, therapy. If you got to do that, you know, you can do that. You know what I mean? But you got to just find something that's going to work for you to get, you know, be able to get you to face those problems. Like, you know what I mean? Because that could just fuck you up, especially during this season. Bro. Because okay. it's you in the house. Where are you going to live? Yeah. We gonna talk to you. Ain't, no, ain't no day parties. Ain't no, you know what I mean? Ain't no day parties. It's not gonna go to like a picnic before. Nothing to distract. Nothing to distract. Where we do that? Picnics. Oh, we had. Yeah, yeah, I think it's all the time. Be like, now, now we do that two, three times before we even start inviting people, bro. Fact, yeah. So we just went with just us. Yeah. That's like what I'm saying. Like, and it's a like, unique. So you gotta find something that you can hang your hat on to like right. help get you through it. Cause like this, and it seems like as if this shit is not stopping. Any you know what I mean? So like, you gotta find. That, 2025. That I think I think it's the main thing is like yeah. um, whoever's going through something at any point in time, tap in and notice what situation you're in that makes you the most happy. You know what I'm saying? Not for a temporary time, but a permanent time. Like something that you know if 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 if, if, if this come up or this happen or you hear this. And it makes you it tap into the happiness space. Stay in that happiness space. And let it be. You know what I'm saying? Don't go into something that's temporary where that also makes you happy, but also like, makes you Yeah, happy. like I kind of said, like for me, it was like spoken. Like I was just, I was going to say, let it be something healthy. Yeah, like I was just, yeah, but because it's like when you touch it. But if it puts you in a space and you know you can always go to it back and be consistently happy, it has to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that be healthy. So they can't take it like all day. <laughs> but that's a temp it's, it's, it's a temporary thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I'm sober again, I feel it. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like so if, if you go into a space that doesn't make that also makes you happy but also makes you sad, you know what I'm saying? It's not healthy. So tap into that space that constantly make you happy. But also tap into that space that also lets you feel that emotion. I was just I was gonna say you gotta you have to once you feel, see that, you, you gotta have see to that. you can't you yeah. can't you can try that's to right. avoid it, you right. can try to deflect it all you want. It's yeah. gonna come out one way or the other. So really tap into that space, yo. Like like I said, yo, take a hot shower, put the pedal on, do what you gotta do, or meditate and stretch like my brother Leon or, or like back in the day, read, read the book. Or, <laughs> I just love shit for the birds But I'm a crow, I'm a crow, baby, please So please, wait your turn I should in the box, it's confession So please let it burn Burn flesh from the passion Now it's hot sex, we romanced it Two dead bodies all up over in your